Your C4 here, aka Spirit! And shout out to DOD, man. Purple World returning with an episode. From sun up to sun down. Keep my head above water so I won't drown. No, no, y'all chose the wrong living. Why question your purpose if it's God giving? From sun up to sun down. Keep my head above we'll do, water. We'll do the so intro. Purple World episode 65. 65. I know I told you guys that in the Trill Manny episode that this will be the next episode, but like I said at the end of the 8-Zip episode, there was a little intermission, but we finally got Mr. C4 on the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm AKA Spirit, man. I'm here. Bro, I'm not sure if you watch um, some of these episodes before, but I always it, just open it up, introduce yourself, just give them the rundown. People that have no idea who the fuck you are, just basically give them a 60-second rundown of all the shit you do. Um... Well, I'm C4, S-E-E-F-O-U-R. Uh, uh, I am from Boston, Massachusetts by, well, I'm from Brockton, Massachusetts by way of Boston. Um, great way to say it. Um, and uh, yeah, I rap, I sing, I songwrite, I produce a little bit, I um, act, you know what I'm saying? I'm activist, I do community work, so I kind of do it all. I'm kind of j- you know, jack of all trades, you know? Um, yeah, just a real nigga. <laughs> man of many talents yeah, Many talents yeah. And a man of purpose That's one thing that stands out about you It's yeah. just like everything that you do For the most part that I see is purposeful Yes, yes That's, that's what we want to make it man We want to make it a pers- purposeful life And a purposeful legacy You know what I'm saying It doesn't It doesn't come easy Because you got to find that energy to do the shit But hey man You know what I'm saying We're here You know And I'm very young So just I just feel keeping at it Hitting Hitting at it Every day It's just gonna It's gonna pay uh, off Normally I ask this later on and it just comes up casually in conversation, but I'm curious. Why the C4 is spelt the way that you did instead of mm. C4? Where would the name come from? Mm. So, uh, you know, I any anybody who knows C4, really knows C4, know I had I, I had it like the bomb way spelt, like C4, you know what I'm saying? And then um, just for marketing purposes, I was like, I, I feel like I should change it, go a different route. And then you know I would I would just see a lot of C fours popping up like after I kind of picked that name and I had I had to keep working it you know what I'm so saying so so now when you check me up the way I spell my name first one popping up on Google like you know you wanna you wanna have authentic authenticness in your name and your way you're doing things and um yeah you know so yeah it just came about switching it um, and I had a good I had a good talk with um the Trail James. Shout out to the I gotta show. get bro. I forget what yeah. I think it was Manny's episode. I was literally just saying, I'm like, I need to fucking get Latrell on one because yeah. he's a person I've been aware of him for like three and a half years now, and I've never reached out to dude. But I want to yeah. just get him he in just, here. And he pick just his made brain, it bro. like a, you know what I'm saying, like a like a thing where it was like we just had that talk. He was like, okay, I see. And, and, and it's not like I wouldn't put work into the name C4, like you know what I'm saying. But again, like now you see the difference. Yeah. Just, of just talking, I just talk to different people and just talk about rebranding and certain things of that nature, asking questions, you know what I'm saying, and getting the answers I needed to get the get the things right. Shout out to you, bro, because a lot of people, all you motherfuckers, uh, bro, <laughs> I, I'm every episode I've been trying to keep the monetization shit, mm-hmm. so not saying a swear within the first 10 minutes, and I just yep. fuck up every time. Yep. But all y'all motherfuckers, bro, need to take that shit into consideration because you guys just be littering your shit with swears, making name a swear, X, Y, and Z. That shit is not marketable. Take what he's saying and take that shit in the fucking consideration, Very bro. Much not, you know. And even then, that's why I think I just do what I do, how I do it, and just try to just keep that, keep that clean. But even then, I feel like I'm gonna be build, build building different entities. And you know what I'm saying? Like now, you know, I'm spirit and you know the things we're doing with that, and you know the project. So we do, we're just finding ways to rebrand and put money in different places. I'm gonna ask the spirit thing after. But before that, the C4 name. Were you a avid Call of Duty player? Is that where that came from or no? Uh, I fuck with Call of Duty. Wait, what? What, what, what made you come up with the name? Then? Uh, it, well, well, my real name, my real name, <sighs> <laughs> my real, my real name's Cologino Carleone Capone Chambers. Damn. So you see four C's in my name, C. Damn, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's a lot okay. of, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of C's in there. So all y'all motherfuckers know that now. Yeah. You know that now. The purpose of his name is not named after a bomb. No, 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 definitely not. Definitely not. It's my real name, you know what I'm saying? So. Bro, the new spirit stuff though that you're talking about, I wasn't even really aware with that. So give me give me some insight on that. I'm um, curious. Yeah, man. Spirit Spirit of a Warrior coming out this summer, man. Um it's no, a project. No yeah, yeah. It's a project. Uh me and Gib worked on. 
you know what I'm saying? So that's a dude. What was the name of the song you just dropped? Like Monavelli's fingers were on the cover art and shit. Uh, body type. Body type. Body type. Yeah, body yeah, yeah. Shout that's off the project. That. Yes, yes, it is. I was gonna yes, say because I saw that he produced that shit too. Yeah, yeah. He produced the whole did. project, man. Um, that's fine. It's, it's been a dope journey, but I think spirits coming from that journey, like, um, you know, we we just was think about different things we can name the project and how we want to go about it. And we was just like, yo, you know, Rob, just to be an innovator, he is. He just was like. Like yo, we should name this spirit spirit of warrior. Like like you got a spirit and and people got to hear what's going on. People got to see your grind and see it in different forms. And this is a great form to see it in. You feel me? Like the most energetic way you can. So the whole spirit spirit thing's just just, just just been like let's go. When's let's the project right. dropping? Uh, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Coming soon. I've been saying that a lot, but I, I it's uh yeah, it's getting prepped. It's getting it's 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 in the oven. You know what I mean? You better not be pushing it back because I remember last time I saw you in here, which was either March or April, you were telling me it was dropping in June. Yeah. When yeah. June's about to be over, you I know, need that. You I know, that. hey, 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 you talk to many people, they I get a lot that. of like, hey, <laughs> like, hey, you said May, you said hey. So but even then, you know, we've been working on this project for two years, honestly. God damn. You know, I haven't God dropped damn. a project in two years, you know. Yeah, um, I couldn't I just, find anything yeah, for I, two years. Yeah, three, I, just, I think it was three years it's a yeah, twenty twenty was the last time. Now, really, like two, yeah, two thousand. Damn, bro, it was late. Recovery late Island. That was the late, last project. Late twenty twenty. Yeah, 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 that's why. That's why. Yeah, damn, bro. But um, but it, it's like um, yeah, I just been working, bro. Just been really conjuring up the image we want to put behind the music, and I think again, it's it's, it's worthy music. So it's like if we if we're shopping this around. We're, what the price we're asking for is what we're asking for yeah. for a reason because how we want to do it. So, but I think even then, I still got more in the vault that's completely sitting, different. Yeah, sitting deep. So, you know, we we we, we gonna see. We is it see. is it a cohesive project that people could spe- uh, expect like a specific sound on, or is it more of like a variety of just random? Um, shit? I think you can expect a sound, but I think it's a champion sound. I think mm-hmm. that's the best way to describe it. Like, it's just, this is going to be something like when you think of, you know, Cousin Stizzes, you think of these people that dropped these projects. Like, you know, the project that was, that got them really that's what going. You think it's be. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of those that's really going to fuel a lot of fire within all the other music. And get, uh, then, then people can see the potential and the growth in it, you know. But yeah, yeah, just working with Gib and, you know, again, starting up, just dropping it. Just like, Really, the singles give that that base of what's gonna be happening, and then yeah, just coming out the park with what we need to come out with. But yeah, is this your first um, project you walked in with just one producer? Yes. No. 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 Red, uh, Red line with uh, Joe Giuliano. Damn. We we dropped. That's what uh, th- that got Rich Forever on it, and a couple other singles. People really fuck with and again it's just like we I, I locked in with him but that was like seven joints so i mean me and gib been working on this project for two years and we we did, at first it started off like seven six and then it extended how many, how many is it at right now we can we can say a good probably i think 12 to 13 Fire. so we just extended it we extended the clip for him you know what i'm Fire. saying because I, I feel like me and rob was just at a point where it was like it's taking it's taking a little longer than expected but uh, that's the that's the process and yeah, that's yeah. And, and that's when you get the fully the full the full growth of it you know how important do you think it is to just not rush the creative process because i feel like most creatives that's their biggest mistake and early on is they just are like all right i recorded this song boom put it on soundcloud put yeah. it on all dsps doesn't even drop on all dsps because they submit it the fucking day before <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's 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 a lot but i think it's really just artist etiquette you know what i'm saying like me i've been in, i've been into enough situations to know when something's gonna something's gonna crap out and something's gonna feel good where it's like i i know how i'm how, how, how i'm rolling and, and and when to stop like when to think about it when to move forward but like yeah i think that's a big big mistake that a lot of artists is doing and again it's, it's you know i think it works for some if you got a regiment if you got like a rust like a rust plan yeah we're gonna drop the, 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 the but again even then it still got to be thought about uh, still the cover art still got to be cohesive still got the, the color tones if you if you thinking of think about things like that so i think that you know our artists got to just take it one step at a time but also too i understand that a lot of people's time is running out 
Yeah. It's like it's like that Justin Timberlake movie. You know what I'm saying? In in time, we, everybody gets <laughs> the time on the thing. It's crazy. It's pretty nuts. It's really nuts. You know? Uh, yeah. People need to put their time in rather than just fucking brushing shit out though. Because whenever something's thought out, you could just feel it way more. You're not gonna forget about it three days later. You're gonna remember that shit a year later. Exactly. So that's so I think with this spirit route, that's where we're going. We're thinking about like, yeah, you're gonna re- remember this, and, and 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 if and if not, and if not for a year. For a lifetime, so yeah. we, we, me, me and Gib just been working hard to get it right, and then um, yeah, just just performing them and doing them different places, so people get different sounds, which is gonna make it, you know, what I'm saying, work out the kinks. You got me hype. You got me <laughs> hype. I want to ask you this though, because I've been asking a lot of people about their experiences with this. I'm sure at one point you were using a fuck ton of YouTube beats, weren't locking in with producers necessarily. Going from where you at one point? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So going from that. To now this project where you've just been locked in with one producer, you're building everything from scratch. You're doing it the right way. What is the difference between that like and how impactful do you think it's been working hands on with producers? Um, Well, it's been wonderful. And I kind of got a taste of that when I honestly started working with J. Rose. That was really one of the the, the main. Shout out J. Rose. Shout out J. Rose, man. Shout out to bro. He's been doing great things. This motherfucker. Um, My bad to cut you off. Reframe your thought. But J. Rose, bro, your energy, bro. No matter what day it is, you you just ready to take over the world. Yeah, and I salute man. you for yeah, that. That's why I fuck with niggas like that, man. He was and he's been there since day one. So a lot of people that 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 really showed the effort and show the work just to just be like, bro, I'm here, I'm around. I want to yeah. I want to be a part. And again, like you could see who who really want to do it, and, and and those who don't, and also too those who don't understand what's going on. You got a lot of motherfuckers in good situations just looking at it like. Yeah. Well, so you know what I'm saying? So with him, I just always knew that something was going to happen. But when we locked in on Mature, that was the whole thing about it. I was like, yo, I got all these demos. And that's what I called everything I did to a YouTube a demo. It's yeah. not it's it's not still going to stand because, again, I can't release it. So so we're, we're going to go about it as demos. I'm going to work on these. And, the, and the, these are the sounds I'm going to build around as I go forward. If I was to show somebody something, yo, what's your, what's your vibe? Yeah, I recorded this. This the, this the vibe. If we can make something out of it original, let's do it and keep it all in house. You know. So working with J Rose on, on Mature, that was the whole concept. Like passing me by Blue Skies, it was already kind of in a form written, and I just needed to get around that original production. Who can build that sound for me? So that was a good a good experience. And that was again like 2018, you know, 17. 16 was working so how old are you again because you're a young motherfucker right 22 you're 22 oh yeah. we're the same age i just i just i just turned 22 in march you know? damn so 2016 you were like 15 years old yeah yeah when damn. i was yeah yeah just, you know what I mean? and, and even then i was still i was also doing a lot of shit bro i was winning <laughs> gospel competitions i was two times running and and in and, and you know hip-hop r&b competitions and yeah just doing anything possible to make it happen you know what i'm saying and chasing the back. It was, it was just, you know, it was good. It was good to earn it, though. What's good, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in to Purple World. Just a reminder, we got a fresh studio over here. If you guys want to book a studio session, our rates start at $50 an hour with an engineer, $25 an hour with no engineer. Rates do vary depending on which engineer you choose. You can book a session by heading over to the Book Now button in our Instagram bio and Book Through Square. You can shoot us a DM to figure out what time slot you want as well as which engineer you want to work with. As a test to see who our loyal viewers are and see who's really rocking with us, if you made it through this whole ad, you could head over over to our square website and you could put code pod 10 and that's going to give you 10 percent off your session one time use though you are not able to use that again so use a while back to the episode also don't forget to subscribe Work, bro this is the part because that shit a lot of people bro have not been in this shit that long at this age a lot yeah. of people just got in in the past like four years a lot of people have not been doing it yeah, yeah. you're already almost at 10 years yeah 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 <laughs> seven years or well We'll get to it now. I want to know before we get into the music side of shit, just give them a rundown of just your life before the music and then where you picked up the music. Tired. I know y'all are probably tired of me saying this, and I'm tired of saying it, but it's a cool way to say it. Superhero origin story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I I fuck with that. We could get to that, too, (laughs) because I'm I'm, I'm a a metaphorical speaker. Like, as we speak, you're going to be like... Bro, what is he? But I again, love those, bro. Yeah, but yeah, all you know, y'all incompetent motherfuckers better be able to depict these shits. So. Yeah, man, you gotta, you know, what I'm saying, build your own world. And um, you know, again, my world started with me just, you know, thinking about how I don't fit in to this one. 
and, and how I don't fit into other people's worlds and what they want me to kind of do. You know, again, like I was an athletic motherfucker. I played sports. I did track. I did football and all these things. But that it, again, that just didn't suit my love like music did. And again, I grew up around music. My mom, she played a lot of old stuff. I don't listen to, a lo- honestly, a lot of new music. I listen to a lot of old school 80s 70s 90s i could tell so like that was my that that was my coming up and then again that music went along with a lot of the you know uh um f ethnic ethnic ethnical ways i went to find myself like you know what i'm saying again who who am i as a person my my or like you know what i'm saying again digging up who's the black panther who's wh- wh- like where do this music fit in this time even when all this was going on so like you know, growing up, I heard a lot of like you know, m- like Marvin Gaye and Luther Vandross and Anita Bakers and all these people that was like very inspirational. And then I start to see the performers. My mother started to show me like you know Prince and James Brown and you know the Mike Jacksons. Like yo, like these people, look what they're doing. Look, look how they're moving. Look, look what their their mannerisms look like. And this is what made them to be them and how people depicted them from others. So I would catch on to that around seven, eight, and then I didn't really knew I really wanted to do music until I started to you know be in elementary school. Like I went to the Matter Hunt in Boston, which again that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm around the way more hugger, but you know what I'm saying. I just I just don't I just don't speak myself as out that as, as one of those. But yeah, we uh, I went to the Matter Hunt, you know, and I did things there like you know get kids prepped for MCAS. We used to go to the gym, and I used to do remixes and. Rap to them, and even then, people knew me as a rapper in school. Like in the mat, like, how old? This this is twelve, eleven. <laughs> like, like, like even then, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm always a late motherfucker. If anybody kind of know me, I'm trying to be my best to be on time now as a businessman. But I I even got to my graduation, like my twelfth graduation late, and they was like, yeah. "You're supposed to perform." Like, <laughs> at your graduation like, when you're twelve? Yeah, what like it was, it was it was it was pretty good. Shout out to the Matter Hunt for that, man. Dope, dope, dope elementary school. And again, like they just, I, I feel like people like in like you know different organizations like City Year, they would come in just be like, what's not engaging with the kids? What? Why does this kid don't want to focus in class? Let's pay attention to them. And again, I just um, shout out to Emily. Hope she sees this. I'll probably share this. And but yeah, like she was like, yeah, like we on, on Garage Band. Like yeah, you want to do this song? You know, I would work on it at certain times, and she would pull me out the class. Bro. Like yeah, okay, we're gonna do this. Like you're pulling me away for for something I like. And and then I can go back into the atmosphere like yeah bro I just did yeah bro I just did that rap you got that done that show set for y'all so we can get y'all prepped for MCAST knowing I'm I'm the mother that's not with this standardized testing and with none of this but I'm like yeah like th- this is things I can I can uh, just represent by and like going going through you know I went to the Timothy I just went to certain also too I just feel like I went through a stage where now since a platform wasn't given to me to excel on in, in ways. Now I got to kind of find my way, you know, so now when I'm going through like middle school, I'm like finding, you know, what I want to do and people still know me for rapping. But again, now I'm going to a Roxbury school, this public school. I know it's a big population. Motherfuckers is known for different stuff. Motherfuckers is known for everything else, yeah. but kind of what they want to be known for at that point. Yeah. So like, I'm just, fi- again, I'm finding myself, I'm a person finding myself. And then it just came to a point where that, we didn't stay in Boston for long. Then my mother was like 2014 ish 15 she was like going to brockton we're going back to brockton which i lived in brockton in 06 so i lived there around really the worst time and and lived on the worst street green (laughs) street at that so like i was around again trouble finds you anywhere and you know what i'm saying so i was just trying to again stay on that music route finding myself and knowing where not to do things when to do things and how to be me you know and then we moved to brockton and then again i just met mad people i met mad uh, ethnicities, K Verdians, Haitians. Now I'm, now I'm going to open mics. Now I'm knowing, knowing, learning about chakras, and I'm learning about all this other crazy stuff. That's just like, okay, I'm, I'm learning how to develop now as a person. And then I got there, and we just, you know, I started there and just started snapping. You know what I'm saying? God started, damn, started, bro. you know, going anywhere I could. Did that's when you know I, that's when I tripped upon the Sound Lab and just started working with them. You know, and then yeah. How old um were you when you started going to Sound Lab? Um, I was around 14, 14, 13. God damn, bro. Yeah. But even then, I was still at North, I was at North Junior High in Brockton. You know, I was doing talent shows. I was, again, still, like, finding my ways and still going about it. But also, too, shout out to uh, Smooth Gang. Uh, I was in, a, also, too, a collective 
um, of like really just experience OGs. Shout Ox, shout you know Mike, um, you know my cousin Hector, Hec- Hector G, and all of them. You know they 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 showed me again the way. You know like they 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 showed me how to do different things. We went on a tour, a mass tour when I was like 14, 13, when fuck, I moved to Brockton. Bro? And we again it was Dutch Rebel, Joseph James, uh, Maverick from um, um, Jammin and. Again, it, that, that was my first, again, first tour, first experience, seeing everything go down God before damn. my eyes. And then, yeah, from then on, it was the, that was kind of the lift to kind of, all right, you do do what you got to do. So, yeah, man, shout out to Walt. Shout out to everybody for that, man. That so you cool. were in this shit for a minute, man. Yeah. You were in this shit for a minute. God damn, bro. But then it's like my mother sings. My, my father is very musically inclined. He played in the church and organs and drums. So, like, you know, you I got that cool, music man. bone. It's yeah. not... You know, it's not like it's not there. I just need to enhance it. You that know shit is it's crazy, like, though, bro. Yeah. It's, like, rare that you meet people that since birth, basically, they were doing music. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very rare. This day and age, everybody just fucking goes, buys a blue snowball, fucking starts rapping because they see some shit on TikTok or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, bro. It's, it, it's, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's definitely one of those situations a lot. But I know a lot of people that really love it. And, again, they just got to find what uh, is them, what's, what, what's their sound and everything. So that's just been me, man. Just try, try to find it. I think it's going good. I think it's going good. But I think I, I'm finding more as I grow more as a person. So, you know. How old were you when you um recorded your first song? I gotta fucking check this shit real quick because it's blowing up. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm no, 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 no. Uh, okay. Well, my first, first song I ever, ever recorded is not out. Um, It, it was actually a, a, a remix of MC8's Straight Up Menace. What the fuck? And and that's because I love Menace's to society i love that movie bro as, as, wait as, hold as, on i'm sending it i always argue this with you motherfuckers that is a best street movie i don't <laughs> yeah, give a yeah. fuck bro oh, yeah top five everybody bro top five. everybody always be fucking saying friday or some <laughs> other shit i don't give a fuck what y'all say I, yo menace bro, to society listen, is a best street movie listen we probably, we probably gotta hang out more because i can put you into a lot of movies that's just like bro you was watching this as like bro what? i, I like, watched scarface every night before i went to bed from when I was like three years old until I was like My nine. Scarface shirt on right now, you know what I'm saying? I have that same exact shirt. Yeah, yeah. I, swear <laughs> to God, yeah. You know I got saying? that same exact shirt, so, bro. Scarface so. is the shit. Yeah, did, and did you just starting to fall into the Carlitos ways and did yep, you, just different movies? Paid in full is fire. Just, yeah, paid, paid in full, full like bro. It's, it's mad it's shit. How you're learning? You got so much movies out. You there, think bro. Godfather's born? To tell you the truth. I've never really watched every trilogy like bit after bit, but <laughs> but though but though that's not to say I won't ever because again obviously my I name watch it, bro. my name Don Carleone is from that, but <laughs> like I gotta I gotta really be chilling in my moods. I gotta just I gotta really lock into that. That's yeah. that's something I gotta. But also too, it, I start to understand certain things at certain points of life. So if I'm watching it. And I'll be like, okay, this is cool. Yeah. Now watch it like probably ten years later. I'm gonna be like, you understand it more. Oh shit, uh, that so yeah. Like so. Scarface, that was Scarface for me when I was younger. I like understood it, but I didn't really. And then when I watched it when I was like 18, <laughs> bro, I was like, damn, yo, I fuck. I, bro, when I first got out of high school because I didn't go to college, I swear to God, I would watch Scarface every night for the first like nine months. Crazy. I didn't watch anything else, bro. I would just be doing shit on my laptop, have Scarface on the background on repeat, bro, <laughs> yeah. every fucking night. Yeah, every man, every fucking night, bro. you know. It's it's very inspirational. It's an inspirational story. Oh, God, well, bro. You know, you know what? And, 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 fuck, fuck getting into the origin story more right now. We're going to branch off of this. You be watching like Power and BMF and all the new, new so, shit? So, no? so, so. I, wa- so, so. I watch BMF. I watch, BMF is fine. I've I, I, I been watching Power a little bit, but then I kind of fell off. Bro, I, of the I, I, story, so. I watched BMF and then I got, I was like, you know what? I need to watch Power because I never watched past the second season. I rewatch all of it. I watched season one of Ghost already. I watched fucking season one of Tommy. Okay, yeah. So go, so Ghost, I haven't really watched. Power, I watched. Uh, I watched and then, all of and, and then the Tommy one, I watched. Bro, you watch all of all of Power? Yes, bro. I, I just finished it like two weeks ago, <laughs> and I was like, D- you. Sorry for everyone watching this. Skip probably like a minute or two if you don't want to have this spoiled. <laughs> when I was younger, bro. Like in like 2019, whenever it ended, mm-hmm. I fucking came out the bathroom and my family was watching the finale of mm. when Ghost got shot. So this whole time I'm watching Power, I just knew that that was gonna happen already. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bro, fuck. But then when it happened, I'm like, damn. Yeah, this you shit's start actually sad. Yeah, like you start to understand. You start to watch from different points and understand. Like me, Snowfall. That was Snowfall. Snowfall's fire. That was Snowfall Snowfall's for me. And, it, and to know that show been on for five years. 
And I'm 22, and I low key been watching that. I've only watched the first three Since, seasons. I still gotta watch the last. Bro, two. that show is crazy. That show been on for five years. You want to hear a crazy ass story real quick? And <laughs> you told I cried. I cried at the end of this. Don't football. don't ruin the end of it for me. I all I heard is that Franklin gets fucked. Like it's like worse than what happened in real life. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it's just I gotta situations. That's what I'm about to catch up on. You know, but but again, you you could put that in terms of knowledge of anything. Put it in terminology of music. Like I started. Like I thought. I thought of a nigga. Like damn. I know some. I know some musicians like that. Like I know. Like you can. You can turn this yeah. any way you really. It's so bro. It really need for you for you to understand it. And then I just understood it deep because I've watched it for so long and I'm starting to see the. Again, you just see, you get happy when you see a character build and grow. So uh. that's just again. But that's that's great entertainment. That's great writing. That's again. Uh, rest in peace John Singleton man It's like Again like know. And he made the boys In the hoods He made the greatest moves So you get Poetic justice You got So it, it's like Yo these people That all came about Doing this story It's just crazy You know what I'm saying uh, So yeah It's yeah, it's wild Bro I gotta tell A crazy story real quick And I've never told this On the podcast And Tempo can't get mad At me <laughs> for this But my first artist I managed Was this kid Tempo mm -hmm. um, The dude I was literally Saying before okay. He saw you at the show yeah. But he was 16 When I met him I think I was 18 Or I had just turned 19 mm -hmm. um, And this is like Probably like Three to six months Into me managing him He calls me And he's like Yo Rick Ross Wants to sign me And I'm like What the fuck And I'm thinking It's, it's Rick Ross Like Rick Ross Rick Ross Yo tell me why We get in a Zoom meeting In this fucking freeway like the dude from Snowfall, like yeah. Freeway Ricky that started wow. crack trying to sign my artist. It was the shittiest, like it was like a ten thousand dollar deal or some shit. It was it was not a good deal. Damn. But Freeway. it was the most <laughs> random this dude is like a Justin Bieber motherfucker, bro. Yeah. And I just get in a Zoom call thinking I'm about to talk to like Rick Ross and it's Freeway. <laughs> I was like, this is the weirdest shit that That's has ever wild. happened in my fucking life. Bro. That's wild. That's crazy. Weird ass shit. Bro. Wow. You know, Weird yeah, you ass shit. never know. You never oh know. Oh god, bro. <laughs> dude, that shit you said about perception perception though bro all y'all motherfuckers realize that shit because literally like people probably listening right now they're like oh they probably think some bad shit because we're talking about all these but it's perception bro like you watch scarface it's not about a dude yeah, selling bro. drugs necessarily bro it's just about and and, and again think. like that's that's where we got to get to the itty gritty because again i'm wearing an I'm I'm wearing it on my shirt as we speak. <laughs> like again, Literally. the Reagan era was a thing, bro. Like a lot of these, they was shipping coke. Like like, come on, bro. We got it. And again, Literally. like I feel like we're in a time now where when that a lot of that stuff starts to dig up and come back, it's like, you know, yeah, some that always been believing in it and all, yeah, obviously. But then you got some that's just like, no, that would. What? That's, bro. What? That's, it's part of the history. It's literally <laughs> documented at this is, point, bro. This is why we got inflation. This is why this is why bro. your gas prices like there's 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 like answers to things. And bro. some we don't even get the answers to. Like oh, I, yeah. I I watch a, I'm a big documentary person, all that. Like I watch stuff like that and be like, how did this happen? And no one no no, no one found so yeah, it's like it's pretty crazy, man. It's it's but also too, like those are origin stories of this is really again the American dream. This is this is what really they want you to do to fall into the trap and to you know. But again, you you look at a lot of those stories. They was giving, they was helping, it was given to a lot of people that didn't have. They was again, they was putting people on in yeah. in the most ways that you would think that your society is really supposed to put you on and put yeah. you. So again, it's just like yeah, man. This is yeah. It's bigger. It's bigger really than or like history at that point when you think of it because really these people are a part of it but yeah like Literally. you know yeah man shout out to scope for the you know follow your nose bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know like and again bro, bro he's he's literally taking it snit in front of you this is the person who brought it like it's come on bro it's wild it's pretty wild to be so a lot of that stuff blows my mind i'll be like bro. yeah like this shit do whatever people have arguments about this drug shit bro big pharma is literally the like bro all the drugs that are prescribed from doctors are way more deadly than all the illegal shit bro do you do, do you watch vice land i used to a lot Yo, I like even lot, like bro. bro i'd be like bro this is crazy <laughs> i'd be Dude, like this is crazy like, like you're talking about all the people that be like black market sellers and shit yeah, right? yeah, yeah bro that shit especially too you see the shit um it was like the snapchat shit where they were selling mad shit the cartel was selling shit and they were posing as teenagers. Did you see that one? I don't. I don't think I seen that one. 
But I, I I know I be watching I be watching a lot of stuff on that, bro, because it be it be for real, it be crazy, be real shit, bro. And a lot of people shit. just again are not self aware. Like that was a one big thing I learned when I got to Brockton as a young. It was like be self aware, be a, be aware of yourself, your surroundings, uh. what you're doing, everything you're consuming. So like, yeah, bro. Like at this point, I'd be like. It's crazy now. Get, getting older too and seeing it like, and a lot of the shit, a lot of it now too for me is to be like, it's just lie. It's just, it's like, like as a kid, it's, if I was to believe that now, I'll be stupid. I'll be dumb. I'll be, be like some things yeah. now because it, it'd be so obvious, man. So, bro, there's yeah. mad shit. Yo, Ryan, restart the cameras real quick. They about to cut out. I see you distracted on your laptop. Huh? Oh, you did? Oh, I'm tripping. My bad, bro. He on Yo, it. He I, on it. I'm sorry, bro. I, I be calling out Ryan all the time by accident, bro. Ryan, Ryan's on his shit. I gotta stop. Um, but bro, yeah, there's there's mad shit. Like the whole Epstein shit. The fact that they covered that shit up, bro. It's wow. It's fucked. It's fucked. They just any any little bit of shit that starts to come out, they just like, oh, here's something else. Like what was happening? Was it World War Three or was it COVID? What was happening? And then they were like, oh, aliens. I think it was, it might have been the Epstein shit, honestly. I think it I, probably was. I think it was the Epstein shit. Like, all the Epstein shit was coming out. And then they're like, oh, here are these videos of UFOs. <laughs> like, you guys think we're fucking stupid, <laughs> bro. Like, this shit literally is just the dumbest shit in the yeah. fucking world, bro. Yeah, like, I be, I be watching Black Mirror and I'll be like, bro. Bro, did you, did you start the new season? Mm -hmm. I just watched the first episode last night. I got to watch the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first episode, though, right the way it kicked off, I was like, this shit is like, fuck. Right away when it first started, I was like, this is definitely some simulation shit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's a great show. Great bro, show. But I'm, but I'm a conspiracy theorist, so like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm one of those, bro. I, mean, I <laughs> am too with certain shit. What, you watch the Bob Lazar videos? No. Oh, fuck. I gotta get hit. Damn, bro. Nah, he's, he's a dude that claims that have it worked for Area 51, but his shit sounds mad real. Mm. Mad real. What's your, what's your, your most. Passionate conspiracy theory. I'm curious about this because I'd be watching mad videos on conspiracy uh, theories and shit too. Like, I don't. It's be it be crazy. I don't. It be it be so many that I start to really figure out about. And I'll be like, Yo, this which is one? Wild. You you like, a flat earther? You a ice age? What? Nah, nah. I'm not a flat earther. I'm I'm. Y'all motherfuckers that think the earth is flat blow my mind. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm wording it wrong on conspiracy. I don't know. But I'd be like, I'd be. I'll be in that head to be like, bro, this is this, this wouldn't be too far fetched. Yeah. <laughs> this wouldn't be too far fetched. And they're just telling us this is what we, you know what I'm saying? I got one for you. I you, could be in a snow globe right now for all that know. I got you. I got one for you. You think um Shug Knight gave easy AIDS? Hell yeah. That's a, okay. That's a big deep yeah. Hell yeah. That's a big deep, deep you, one. You think Tupac's in Cuba? No. Let that man live. That shit is crazy. Bro, <laughs> motherfuckers was trying to Casa was telling me, bro, someone was trying to um Tell Caso that they saw Michael Jackson in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like bro, it's, it'd be it'd be wild, bro. But yeah, that 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 whole it, mm -hmm, yeah. What you think about the cloning? Like how they say Gucci Mane's a clone, they think Kanye is a clone. I don't, I don't think these people are clones. I, I, I again, I just think they're uh, they're uh, they're awakening. They're, they're starting to wake up, really. Yeah. Because you, you again, if we would still to accept the ignorant Gucci man lemonade, we wouldn't be talk. You know what I'm saying? Again, like you grow from things, bro. And I start. This is why I start to kind of start to be on concrete on very much how I'm growing and like standing firm on certain things. I'm like, bro, this is because no, you're not gonna tell me 50 years down the line that I I don't feel the same way about this. Yeah. This is crazy. So again, like it, it people got to start to just channel channel what they know really again what's gonna like, keep them to sleep at night which again i can't sleep with the bullshit <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's just it's just one of those things it's so like the cloning the cloning definitely probably yeah hell yeah right come on like you know what i'm saying it's 2023 what you think <laughs> about the whole like secret society and shit like people on like a kanye level or bieber or jay-z level do you think that Everything they put out is actually them, or do you think to an extent it's like filtered and controlled to some sort of extent? Um, I think there's definitely filtering and, and, and controlling. Obviously, you know I'm a man of God, um, and again we wake up every day with a purpose on this earth. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do it? And how are we gonna fulfill it? And again, there's there's ways of going about it. There's so many pathways and routes, and that's what I'm saying. That's where I start to get into the whole like when I start to see this just different things and like. Well, it could have went that way. <laughs> it could in this yeah. way, yeah, yeah. It probably did go that way. So, like, and and a lot of stories and a lot of testimonies are, are really true. 
when yeah. when you start to feel more what they're saying than just than just listening to what they're saying, you know, or or seeing what they're going through and feeling what they're going through than actually just witnessing it, you know, or, and, and letting it pass by. So uh, I think I think definitely yeah, there's a uh, there's people pushing a certain agenda with what they do and how they do it, but it's like you know again, does it come back in full? Does it does it stay long? Does uh, it you know what I'm saying? Like again, it's kind of like with that snowfall story. It's like yo, does it does, is this gonna <laughs> last forever? We, bro, I'm curious. Yeah. I have to see how that shit ends, bro. Yeah, because like, everyone's been like, you have to watch it, bro. You have to catch up. The <laughs> ending is crazy. Every everyone has just said that. Mm-hmm. Everyone and I think the way because how I was saying at first they were saying it was fucked. They were like you could view it two ways. I think whoever told me is it, it like it's either fucked or it's really good. Like you just have to like watch it to figure out. Yeah, like, bro. Damn. Like kind of, kind of, bread. It's kind of a thing. Like, right? If a person is not afraid to die, and if a person is is can't live, like you know, what I'm saying it, it comes to the point where it's like. Well, now you're just walking on a hell on earth at that point. Like, you, can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't you don't got what you aspirate to be, but you're not dead. You're in the middle. You're literally in the middle <laughs> of, of nothing. And, like, so, again, in a lot of these stories, you end up dead in jail or, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, just, it's just more like, no. Sometimes the greatest gifts are just stripped from you. And... Yeah, that's, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, have you, do you know uh, Thundercat? I watched Yo, it when I was younger, but I haven't watched it. No, 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 no. Not the uh the, the, the cartoon, the artist. Oh, Thundercat. No, 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 no. Okay, so ch- check up Thundercat in uh in I think it's Things Change. Uh um Things Changing or huh. the song or something like that. But it's the uh it's the um it's the Isley Brothers sample that he's sampling. But like when you look at the video, the video is just crazy. It's like a samurai yeah. dude that was like a, a again, an exhibition samurai, and again he got his arms cut off. And I was like, you can't you can't swim bro. sword, bro. Yeah. Like, no, now that, you just... You, you know what I'm saying? That samurai shit is fucked, bro. Like, how they'll fucking cut one of your fingers off yeah. so that you can't balance your sword and shit, bro. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. So, yeah, man. I just I just be like, with this music shit, man, we got to treat this like, again, this is livelihood. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got a, one more conspiracy question. After this one, I'm going to take a quick piss break. Okay. But we're going we're gonna to keep staying on these topics when I get back from the piss break. But <laughs> have you ever heard of the cataclysm theory shit? No. About, like, how the world ended mad times? No, but I can I, I, I kind of see it in forms of, like, Marvel. Like, when they do it in Marvel. Bro, no, no I'm going to break this down because like, this shit is crazy to me. I remember when I at first, like, found out about this. I'm like, this shit sounds mad true. So how they were trying to say, like, the world was going to end in 2012 because of the Great Flood. Like, and you know oh. how, like, in the Bible and shit, there's yep. mad shit that's confirming the Great Flood. Mm-hmm. What a lot of people think is the actuality of shit is we've gotten, like, all this technology and shit. We've had shit like this before in the past. Oh, there's theories that we basically keep upping our society, and then we fuck up the earth, like the global warming shit. We cause a Great Flood, and then we just keep pressing reset on society. Like, there's, like, a whole theory behind this shit. And this dude, I think in, like, the 70s, he wrote a book on it. Um, talking about like the fucking um, what are the like not tectonic plates? The shit that caused like earthquakes and shit. Like it's like something about like mad earthquakes and tsunamis and shit happening mm-hmm. at once. But there's a scientist that wrote this whole entire book, bro. The the government wouldn't let the book come out. Crazy. And then they let it come out. I think like ten years ago they let it come out, but they cut like two hundred and fifty pages from the fucking book. So they they narrowed it down basically from like a three four hundred page book to a fifty page book. But that whole theory, bro, like, I honestly think that that shit could be a very big possibility. Yeah, bro. man. I, I feel like in many ways it can, too, you know? But, like, again, it's just, it's like, I like, also, too, I believe in it in a way, like, I've been here on this earth before. Yeah. Like, that's what I feel. I feel like I've been here before. I've, I'm just living in another vessel. I'm just, you know, again, going, experiencing that. But even then, I feel that way because of what I tie myself back to and how I feel such a passion towards it it's like yeah. it's a feeling that i can't really put into other things so maybe that's not what i was doing you know what i'm saying yeah. so again with the forms of how i'm doing things now i feel like yo i was living in a different time giving to a different cause and but still doing it in this form of way and so now yeah. i have to do it like how i do it now you know um but yeah like i, I could definitely believe that i could believe that shit. Sure would be cool i could definitely believe in hit, 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 hitting the reset button but that's where you watch like the black mirrors and shit like that i'll be like, like bro. yeah i'll be like this, this shit, is wild yeah, like, yeah bro <laughs> this, the thing that's fucked up bro we know so little 
Mm-hmm. Like we we literally know so I wouldn't be surprised if we knew ten percent or less of the actuality of everything. Bro. Exactly. I genuinely would not. It's just it's wild, bro. Yes, it's, it's wild. yeah. It, it's one of those you know wicked whirlwinds. <laughs> bro, it's <laughs> so fucked. it's like you know it is it is fucked. It is fucked. I'm about to go take my piss break, and then we're going to pick this back up with some alien talk. Going to That's a what we're going to do after. I'm going to ask you about aliens and paranormal shit okay. before we okay. get back into the series. Okay. Shit. Okay. Cue the SpongeBob <laughs> meme. A few moments later. The way you're talking about it is crazy because whenever I'm trying to think of an example. Well, for me, now the art of not giving a fuck because I had no idea there was a movie on that shit. Mm-hmm. But the whole obviously, that's like life lessons and shit. But the whole entire time that I watch it, I'm just picturing whatever in my head. So then when you go see it, it's like whatever but if you read a book that there's not a movie for before it's literally just like every person that's reading it just pictures that shit different mm-hmm. i never even really thought about it like that but that's just yeah. crazy if you think about it mm-hmm. that's just crazy if you think about it sorry for getting you guys with book talk right back mm-hmm. but we're back we're back from the break i promise you guys some alien talk so we're gonna ask c4 what's your your whole opinion on the shit <laughs> i think there's aliens i think there's people in gym. you know trust me space is is big as is, is big as fuck when you get to like, like third episode in Black Mirror, it's, just, it's about space. Yeah, and, and, and again, it's like it's like, bro, NASA, the money niggas, niggas is making, they're doing a lot of this shit, bro, and they're just trying trying to go fuck with what's out there. And it's like, bro, they they're coming here just to sit that like we can we can we can slide anytime. Yeah, that that's, that's all I feel like aliens be saying. We can slide anytime. That it don't like don't don't make us come don't make us come back. <laughs> bro, I wouldn't be but surprised, yeah. bro. Yeah. You, so you think the government already knows that there's aliens? Hell out there yeah! And they just had that shit. Hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Bro. I think that's the first motherfuckers they had to go <laughs> hit up, bro. When they went out there, like it's like Probably. it's it's like checking in in cities. Like that's how I feel <laughs> like when they went to space. It's like yeah, you got to check in with us, Playboy. It's not <laughs> so you're gonna yeah. So yeah, it's just crazy out there. Bro. I feel like there's mad stuff out there. You're gonna go to Mars once Elon figures this shit out. No. You wouldn't go to space if you had the opportunity to go to space. You wouldn't. That nope. shit would be fire. Nope. That shit would be fire. Keep me here. If I like find out I was gonna die, I would be like, yeah. Or if I was like ninety years old, like knowing I'm gonna croak any day, I'm going to man, space. Man, man. One things I will. Uh, one thing I will not fuck with the space and the sea. <laughs> I don't fuck with the ocean either, bro. <laughs> the Yo. space and the sea. I'm good, man. Bro, the I'm ocean. Crazy. Fuck the ocean, bro. I'm gravy. Like we talked about Ryan, you know this off the top of your head. What's the percentage? Eleven eleven percent of the ocean is all we've explored. Think about how scary that shit is, bro. Like motherfuckers, bro. I'm sorry. I don't know about you, bro. I don't be going in the beach, bro. I don't like either. I don't I can't I don't, swim. Bro, really? I gotta bro. learn. I gotta take swimming lessons. Bro. I could swim, but the, I just don't be fucking with the ocean. Give me the floaties, man. Bro. <laughs> Give me the floaties. <laughs> gotta keep, learn, keep, bro. keep me by foot foot water distance. I'm bro. good. Man. Let me get to feed it. You know? The ocean is just like in my like the ocean just scares me, bro. You yeah. just can't see, especially out here, like in New England, you can't even see in the fucking water. Like you can't see past like a foot <laughs> in the water, bro. Like motherfuckers that be going in the middle of fucking. The ocean and jumping off boats, bro. That shit just be terrifying me, bro. Crazy. Like, terrifying. Wild. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I'll be good. Like, on a boat or some shit, I'll be good for the most part. But if I'm, like, somewhere where I can't see land, then I'm like, fuck that. Like, unless I'm on, like, a ferry. If I'm on a small boat and I can't see land or some shit like that, I'm like, yo. I'll just get a boat with a jacuzzi on it. I'm straight. <laughs> bro. I'm straight. I'm straight. <laughs> you get a yacht, bro. Yeah. <laughs> No, the ocean's fucking the wildlife in general, bro. There's so much shit here where we are. We don't have that much deadly shit, but there's just so much shit in the world that's fucked up, like grizzly bears, mad poisonous shit, fucking mm-hmm. crocodiles and shit. I watched this video today about um this kid was in Mexico at a hotel and he went over like this gate that said like do not enter, yo. And when he jumped over, it was a swamp on the other side. This kid got eaten by, like, mad crocodiles. Crazy. Like, mad crocodiles. I'm like, fuck that shit. But 
it just puts in the perspective. We're we're so blessed we don't have to worry about mad of that shit. Cause you live in some of these countries, bro. You gotta worry about tigers. Like, like oh. Florida, Florida's with the alligators. Florida with the gators. The gators aren't even the worst though, cause like crocodiles, bro. Crocodiles be mad aggressive. I still get like imagine can't do it bro i can't do it i couldn't I can't either do it. bro like imagine being like yeah we could go we could go walk to the corner store but we gotta be careful because the targets are out at this hour yeah. like imagine that being the conversation you're like bro <laughs> yeah that's crazy too. that shit is fucking insane it, it is it's wild predators and all that shit like i i don't even be into it that much but whenever you sit there and you like just take in just nature and all the wildlife and shit it's like we are tired we are tiny and there's so much shit out there that could just kill us even with all the technology and shit we have Very like much. all the fucking guns and shit bro like you get attacked by a grizzly bear or some shit bro you seen stuck um, you. revenant is that the name of it the leonardo the you know, i haven't seen it but i've seen the memes and i've seen like when he got attacked by the bear yeah, bro yeah, that shit was that fucking scene was fucked up Shoot, i remember I seeing red dead redemption like, too I, no. I know how like, <laughs> like even then yeah. that is it's just like hey, but that shows you the simulation that's the bro. simulation if you if you want to know what it feels to get that watch this or play bro. this and it'll, it'll show you you know and that again like that's what i'm saying up. you got the black mirror like again back to black mirror where you got the episodes where like they simulate you and you're feeling what, what you're in And again Like it's weird bro It's wild So I think a lot of that Is very much Real in fact Like what are you, Again they're working On things like that To get To get just Just different Different I don't know A different path of life Or try to create some yeah, yeah. Stability to keep living And I don't know It's it, Eternalness That's what motherfuckers Is trying to find <laughs> Eternalness Eternal happiness Eternal that Like it's just But again Nothing lasts forever, oh God, <laughs> so you got to make what you make of it. Be, get, be, 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 be good with that and, and and love that. Like you feel me? Yeah, it's crazy. Talking about eternal happiness, what what keeps you so upbeat? Because I feel like you're always just like energetic as fuck. Sometimes, sometimes you can catch me on my down days. You know what I'm saying? But again, not not even my down days. I think that's just again that's just who I'm starting to feel more like. I'm just starting to feel more. Hmm. Yeah, like nothing. No. Like even then, I think even then, I see a lot of. I, I've I've been places, seen people. I've seen stars, like famous people, and just be like, hmm. <laughs> like, hmm. like, okay, like you know. And again, I think, I think, it, but also too, I'm starting to find those ways to stay upbeat without exerting. And I think that's what it is for me. I think it's about exerting the energy. You know, what I'm saying more than. Confining it, consoling it, and letting it do its thing to, you know, saying, give that energy out in the right ways or to just use it in the right ways. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, you know, again, like, if I'm, if I, if I, if I really feel my body saying stop or do something, listen to it. Cause yeah. you, you feel like you, you can do it, you're stupid, but nah, that's not, that's not how it goes sometimes. Like you said, with that little, like, I'll be like, yeah. I'll be having to remember humbling. So, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, but things that keep me happy, man, just it's always small things, you know. I'm becoming more of a, a, a um a fatty, so food food is in that <laughs> for me. Um I think like, you know, again just solitude, listening to music. Um I I I feel like I always too have like a like a morning regiment. Like I got to wake up a certain way. I got to wake up and you know, get in my bag, listen to music, roll a blunt, chill, vibe for a little bit, think about what we're going to do and then, and then make the move. Um so like yeah, I, j- I just find different ways to stay in tune, you know. When do you feel like you found yourself as a person? Or do you feel like you haven't found yourself completely? I, 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 um, I, I found partial of myself. I feel like I found a part of myself that I somewhat put down, and 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 needed to pick back up so we can go find that other half. <laughs> but again, um, I think. I think over time, I just started to, again, like how we was talking, I was just like, yo, as, as a kid, I was told so many things, and, and we're told so many things on how th- things should go. and how th- But when you get older, it's not how they work. Half the shit's a lie. You, you got to really figure it out for yourself. Or two, you get certain experiences where it's like, that didn't go that way for you. 
Well, it was different for me. I, mm-hmm. Like, and again, this is so-called the process we're supposed to be going through. This is a standard process everybody's supposed to go through. But for some reason in life, you just got the different walk, and it went that way. And I feel like that's what we got to start to understand more and really start to be like, yo, like, there's th- there's ways of going about these things. And without burning any of yourself, burning any bridges, you can literally just implement it into how <laughs> things are going. Like, I, I never really kind of look at anything as a bad situation. We're going to turn bad into good. We're going to flip that. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, you're just flipping a bad pack. That's all. This is, so I think um, oh, over time, I just started to be like, I started to find myself more into music and start to find myself in more of the people that really understand what I'm going through. To be like, I understand why you are and how we're going to move forward with everything you have. And, and, and again, just start to be more like, this is what you have. Do you understand what you have? Like, again, it's always a talk back and forth. So I feel like, you know, a lot of those things keep me into place and just keep me, like, you know, happy. It keeps me, it keeps me okay. Like, it, it feels good to know someone's doing their job and they're helping me doing the job. I mean, I'm helping them do the job by just me doing my job. <laughs> it, all, it all works. Played a role, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh. So you're someone who, you, you, big part of you making the music is just the impact on people. Exactly. The impact, and then, you know, how much, I, again, how much I impact others. You know, again, I'm trying to make platforms to the point where we all eat, not just, well, it's just me, and then I'm dispersed, I'm, I'm distributing it. No. It's, everybody got their own. So at the end of the day, nobody even got to say, hey, well, what's going on on your plate? We got the, we all got the same plate. And if not, and if not, and if I got a bigger plate, I'm going to take a little bit off my plate. And be like, look, guys, there's something in the middle y'all can have. If y'all done with y'all plates. Because, <laughs> again, I still got a lot over here we can work with. It's it's not. So, yeah, it's like that's how I've been kind of feeling about even then just how how I go about things, how I wake up. It's just like, yo, we got to we gotta understand the goal here and the mission and the moral. Don't lose the morals, you know. Uh, how important do you think that is? Because a lot of people probably be having this conversation. Anybody that's pure, it's just like if you're a good person – that will carry you more than anything. I was literally saying, shout yeah. out Manny, bro. I was literally t- mm-hmm. talking to Manny about Shout out Manny, today. man. He, he, he's another person. He asks me he asks me questions. Like, I think I think I remember one time we was in the studio, and I, if you, Manny remember, probably remember this, and we was just talking. He was just like, ask me a question. Now, me being, you know, the 24-hour C4, always in the studio, tired as hell, probably, you know, again, ha- ha- had three, 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 three yeah. events in the last past three days. I'm sitting there talking to him. But I'm literally dying. Like I'm, I'm going to sleep. Like, yeah, but bro, you just gotta keep, you gotta keep the face. You gotta, sh- 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 and I'm, 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 I'm withering away, bro. But yeah. everything he's, he's asking me, I'm still, in. Like I'm still there to give him that. Yeah, like you know. So again, like, and that's how we were saying, like, what keeps me, what keep keeps me with that internal happiness, with like just knowing well the impact. Well, you got something from this, and we talked, and you got something from, from this conversation. You know how to move forward, and you just know how to build with yourself when you know you're by yourself, and, you, and you're the only one that has to deal with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just understanding, understanding people. You know what I mean? That's been my big thing. I want to ask you because you just gave a little peek at your workflow. What's your workflow like? Like, what's a day in the life of C4 like? But also, what's a week in the life of C4 like after that? <laughs> the day the day is the day is the day man i've i try obviously you know i'm i i've i work i work jobs obviously i've i've probably worked it, it, not at half the establishments i i know i can probably excel in i just I, any catch me doing anything Catch me, you can catch C four mowing the lawn and be like, "Wait, yo, what, what are you doing over here?" Yeah, bro, I'm just over here, you know, what I'm saying in this lumber business, we just I, I know some people that need some help cutting some lawn, <laughs> and we over here just help. We get yeah, we get money. Like I, I again, I'm I'm a very simple person, so anything can really fulfill my day depending on how I make out of it. Like you know, if I, if I can make fun out of it, shit, let's do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If, if we go here, this is yeah, this got this for me. We cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, like the day I wake up, I you know I think about what I'm gonna do. I, I you know again tapping with all the people I know again that might have the same days as me, very busy and just very like yo, how you feeling? Give them that talk and 
we build on how, again, they know what steps I'm going to be making moving forward after we get off that talk or that conversation. Then it's just about, again, going about how we build through the day, how the things we feel, how, how we feel about it, how we feel towards it, how we react. And, and, like, really, those be the things for me. Everything else just be like, well, what today is today is I could be helping you for the whole day. And that could just be my day. I don't got nothing to do. But, uh, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm with you. Right? But, but, but I got to understand where I play a part in that. And even then, like, when I'm just on the move, sometimes I'm just working. I'm just thinking about what's next steps, shows, people to reach out to, connections, producing, and all of that stuff. And what I can't make do with, I try to just get it done. You know what I'm saying? The week, it just be, you know, most likely a show on the weekend. Now, since the summer's coming back, it's, it's a lot of shows going on, a lot of things going on. So I've just been trying to, um, you know, again, just tie up those loose ends. I feel like just got too untied. I couldn't tie him back at the time I, I really needed to. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, it's just yeah, just just keeping busy. I always just keep busy. Uh, always. And if I'm not keeping busy doing what I need to do, just make money. Just try to make <laughs> money, man. What's your creative process like? Um, uh, I used to really be in a studio a lot. So now since I'm really not, I've been finding ways to, again, just express. So if it's writing, again, I might have to go through some things. Even then, I think the thing sparked me with inspiration. So I got to watch some documentary. Like, I got to watch something to spark that inspiration. Like, I could make something out of what I just seen. It's all perception. So, um, you know, if if I hear a beat or, again, sometimes people force me out of my hole. Like, a J. Rose would force me out of my hole sometimes. <laughs> like, you're like, yo, bro, do you understand this song? Yo, I've been listening to this song. And, yo, you got, yo, you said this to me. Yo, you need to drop or you need to find something to do with this. And then again, that's how you get about like the tributes and the freestyles that I would do and really start to, re okay, this is sparking inspiration. Let's give light. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, it's always either the right process. And even then, once I kind of get in and feel it, you know, I, I, I kind of just fill it out. I've been more trying to be in the, 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 the studio by myself, though, like producing my own ish, recording myself. Like, that's what I like. I like finding that drive in myself and even then it takes a lot to get up and start to yeah start to rap write it start to produce figure out how it's gonna sound get giving it that giving it this to make it you know sound good so how is it just doing everything by yourself now versus um, relying on people i think i think it's beautiful i think it's beautiful but, but again the people around me my peers taught me that from the start yeah. kind of like yo you're gonna have to eventually learn you, eventually you're gonna come to this point in the road where you start to just pick up things, and that, and that, and what you really pick up is what you really need. So give into it, you know. Um, and just again, seeing the, the the dope people do it themselves, you know. what I'm saying, uh, shout out to like you know the Devos, the J Roses, the you know. What I'm saying, I'm seeing a lot of. I work with a lot of producers though, like Dallas, you know, Joe, Joe, Joe Giuliano. A lot of see, seeing a lot of people from the start doing it, and 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 like yo. This, this in how they feel about it toward like them being producers shit like yeah this is this is how i feel about the work so i understand that too that happiness you get from kind of making something and being like i made this you know this the again shane dylan i work with him a lot like we like seeing him just play a piano and you, you get these people that come around you bro you be like these are freaks of nature the gibbs they, they, they like they, they're doing what they're doing to the great greatest of their like stature right now, but wait till they keep going up. It's it's only gonna get better. So, yeah, I just been like sharpening the sword for me. You know, I've always been like a freestyler, so that's always been my thing: freestyling, sharpen that sword. You know, go to ciphers, go to freestyle sessions, freestyling school, freestyle walking. Just to, again, just sharp, sh sharp, sharp. So, yeah, that's been always my thing. I was gonna say with the freestyles, you got mad freestyle videos on your Instagram. Yeah. Um. That and just like overall marketing, how important do you think it is to just market yourself? But also, what do you feel like the advantages are of you being such a good freestyler? Because a lot of people can't do it to that extent. Um, I think it's I think it's great, you know. And then I started to just look at in other areas I know I can be great at. You know, it's kind of like seeing your greatest basketball player. Uh, you you like watching and just being like you get, again like me I like the Kobe's I like the Michael Jordans I like the people that can bounce the ball but still shoot the ball and still dunk the ball and lay it up and so again like that's how I kind of thought of the artistry I thought of it like that you know like how are we gonna really move and and grind these gears so they're not 
outgeared at that point or outgrind. Let's 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 lay it all in in and expand it. So with the freestyling, I was like, as a kid, you know, I just freestyled and kept freestyling, but then started to came, come to a point where I started to freestyle with my brother. We would do back and forth. So he would do four, I do four. He do four, I do four. And then again, it just started to start to get deeper, you know, and then the writing came along once I started to, I actually was really performing a lot of songs, freestyling them, and people would be like, yo, 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 you do that song you did? I'm like, that was a freestyle, bro. I don't know what I said, what I was, <laughs> that was all, that was all off the cuff, bro. And like, if you recorded it, that was your closest you can get to it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I, I kind of went, I felt bad as, a, as an artist in a formal way, not a rapper. Or, or freestyle as a, as an artist like well they want to hear these songs <laughs> so now I gotta make these songs and not just do it while I'm up <laughs> there like I gotta think about them too because they want to hear these years and then really just start to get to, to writing and all right yeah if we do something we're gonna do it if, if anything now you might see me freestyle over beats that I've already got songs to to just give that little piece you know it's, it's just it's like giving dessert but other than that we got to keep working working those attributes you know what I'm saying to get better uh -uh. What about the marketing side of shit? The marketing way. side, yeah. I feel like so with me, I feel like marketing myself is in ways and shapes or forms kind of not marketing myself. So kind of like how you think about again, how you think about the Coles, how you think about K. Dot, you really don't see them as much. You really don't. like I've I've talked to a lot of people and be like, you're C four. <laughs> like I've never I've never actually That's what seen I said to you, you when I saw you for the first time. So I like, saw you on stage and shit, but that yeah, was my so first time. or two unless you catch that. But half the time too, I know a lot of people. Um, again, they're caught up in their worlds. They're caught up in different things. They're not. Li some, I know sometimes some, certain people never see me perform, or, or saw me perform, and if they see me again, they probably didn't know they seen me perform years ago. You know what I'm saying? And you just, <laughs> you just didn't. You wasn't aware of yourself and your surroundings. Yeah. So like, I just feel like now it's like I'm starting to make a thing where it's like you know you got to see my face with the name. You got to see my name with the music. You got to see my music with the. With the aura, you gotta see my aura with the vibe. You gotta see my vibe with the, you know, and then, then again, it all checks out, you know, for most people. But for some, it's like I, I don't know. But I think that's because certain people have expectations of people when they, you know, what I'm saying, like again, if I'm if I'm talking to you or if someone mentions your name, I should expect something of you. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Gabe should be a, a yeah, big so. goat. Good to, no, <laughs> like yo, you should be you. Same that's something. You know, so I feel like that's another thing, too. Like, we get those sides. Like, since people see me do community activist work and they don't see my music side, they look at the music side and be like, oh, that's really kind of different than your music activist. But, again, it's, it's going hand in hand. And if it's not going hand in hand, one thing is contributing to the other and, and, and paying the other, and then that thing is paying this. It all goes. It all goes. I want you to talk a little bit about your community work. Um, I've done a lot of community work. <laughs> um, shout out to um, places like Teen Empowerment. Um, that's a dope platform to help um, young youth excel. Um, just summer jobs and, you know, if you want to write, rap, song, write, uh, event curate, uh, just just do it all. Youth youth organizing, you know, uh, they really do it all. Um, and then again, like me, but I, I was very much doing that before I kind of moved back to Boston. So uh, I did, was doing it in Brockton. And we had, um, I was in an or organization, um, a lot of organizations just around, like the youth works. I used to do a lot of their open mics and things like that. Um, and then, you know, working closely with friends that we all believed in the same things and believe in people should have this, th this knowledge of being aware of themselves and knowing who they are and, you know, uh, you holding pride in yourself and you being proud of who you are and what you want to do and how to get into your community so we would really create avenues and we would do that by throwing events open mics parties any things of that nature and then literally refunding that with all of that that we did so if we was throwing a party it was because literally we was throwing a a, a a community <laughs> fundraiser F fundraiser next week it is like well we need to we need money to start the, so we would use all our talents put it in the pot 
Let's get the money to give to a bigger cause. So, like, yeah, we would, again, like, me working after school, Brockton High, teaching kids, talking to kids. And even then, like, I taught at Eastie, you know, the poetry, shout out to Zoomix, uh, th them, their dope organization. Just working within these organizations to, again, expand these platforms for others and know that we're doing it. But even then, like, I was always, again, going to community meetings and, and school rallies and and you know I, honestly you know if, if anybody is, is going to brockton high now i'm probably the reason why you got probably three more minutes to get to class like <laughs> again bro like we got to understand yeah, like me and my friends used to be in the school committee meetings talking yeah. about why are we getting demerits and why are we getting you know it, it, it expelled you're a kid with all a's for the term but you got to fail because you made it to class three times late and really it's because it's because we got 1,300 kids in a school. Like, come on, bro. We got to make it make sense. And I, and I start to see a lot of these, like, again, platforms that a lot of people big up and invest in and all. They're really not doing half the work that these little organizations are doing and these people are doing as individuals to literally get this point across. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I was doing a lot of stuff like that. Like, again, the standardized testing as, as elementary school. Yeah, I was I was I was. F rooting for it but then i start to understand as time goes on why the hell we burning out these kids bro through the week to do testing every day on certain and then again like that was literally oh standardized testing is to literally oh to know where you're gonna be <laughs> in a couple years if you got a low score then, yeah you're even gonna be okay we know where that kid's gonna be in jail he's gonna be doing this <laughs> or doing it oh this kid he got all the it, it, oh he's gonna be in yeah college and doing this and doing that but even then you gotta understand to the lowest of lows can be doing to the highest highs and the highest highs that gun done, done, done graded high could be <laughs> lowest low oh, not man. not even getting the job you 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 you're, you're overly qualified i've heard that before bro like that's not this is again and we just start to think this is the world we live in where i can go do all this master's class everything and literally go for the job i want and and and, and want to get but i'm overly qualified for it so i got to do something greater than this with what, what, what more do you want and then i think that's when you start to get those big dreamers and aspirators where you get okay why is he doing this why is this person going to mount everest to do because it's like bro like they told me i was overly qualified like you get you get stories that's just like bro people are crazy man and i i start to understand over time it's about what we make of it literally it's about what you make of it so yeah i'm like i'm i'm, I'm that person i've i've been enough through, through enough community to know that okay either way you go and either way it goes about what what what's the goal what type of life are you living in? And are you cool with the type of life? Are you good with that regiment? You know what I'm saying? So just helping in the ways I can possible. That's me. You, know? you seem like a very non-selfish dude from everything you've said so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope <laughs> I, ho I hope some people see that. As, you literally do not seem thing. selfish at all <laughs> from everything you've been saying. You do not seem selfish at all. You know, and even then, sometimes you got to put yourself in self, like those those moments to literally hold yourself back, don't be selfish. Don't be so like that's the whole point of the goal of why you're helping. <laughs> it's to don't be yeah. self like you know. So again, like I, I understand that too. I understand I, I get into those certain modes where I think about those things. And, and then how do we assess ourselves and react to it? We can react selfishly, but we can react non selfishly. And then even then, you know, like how do we feel after? <laughs> that's that's really the key point for me. How we feel after. But yeah, uh, Mr. Deep, <laughs> you talking like a politician. Yeah. Yeah, I, hey man, I hey I've been, I've been in it. I've, been, I've I've done it before, so it's not you know it's not too far fetched for me. So I, that's why I feel like you know again I'm jack of all trades. I can do a lot, you know. But we need to find time to expand all of those things and not overexert them and not over douse them, you know, and, and make them seem too watered down because you're doing it too much, like. You know, again, this is, if, if it's that time and the need and that call, call me, I'm there. I'm there to do it. I'm there to, you know, so, again, and even then, I know when sometimes, even then, just to when to be quiet. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, we got to, no, we definitely got to talk about that. And we got, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's places and times for everything, you know. What are your goals outside of music? You're talking about all of this. Like, if there's a major goal you have in mind besides anything music-related, what is it? Business-owned. And do it the way that 
I want to, you know, and, and, and also, too, that others need it to be done. You know, I think that's a big, big thing. Like, again, I can see myself owning a lot of things and just, again, overseeing those businesses and being that person like, no, this is the way the business should be ran. And if it's not ran how we want th- uh, other people to run it, then we just going to do our business. That, 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 you know what I'm At the end of the day, if you like our business and if you fuck with us, that's how we do it. Again, and again, we're always, I feel like me, I'm, I'm that person to do right. Like, again, I just feel like if I, if I, if I owned the Chipotle and you didn't get that one chip, my, and I know you, and I feel like you should have got that one chip, give them three bags. Yeah. <laughs> give them th- like, now, like, now we're going to prove it to be a point because at the end of the day, you know, the worthy should feel worthy. And if you feel in yourself that you're not worthy, that's how you, because you don't feel you're worthy. That's it. So, like, I just want people to feel good and feel good about, like, anything really I'm associated with and with the business and how we do things. But, like, yeah, business owning or, like, you know, uh, you know, I've always aspirated. If, if I could, you know, as a kid, I probably would be like, yeah, like, I would want to be a cop. Like, again, to probably, again, fi- try to fix half the bullshit. But, again, I start to get older and be like, ah, uh, that bullshit can't be fixed by me just joining the force. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So you start to find other ways to combat those things. So, like, again, like, I don't know. I don't know what I would be doing. But, again, I always be like, the music, that's the, that's the, that's the A. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the, and, and if I really think about it as the A plan, we're gonna be, we're gonna keep, we're gonna Bella check it. We're gonna keep switching up these plans <laughs> to find a way to fulfill that A plan. Because, yeah, you know. Were there any um moments that made you just like realize that the A plan is gonna work type shit? Like there was a, there. What was the moment that you were like, no, no backup plan? You know, you know. Well, not really. Not like no black backup plan, but like I shouldn't need the backup plan. If I feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Like, yeah, we can have the backup plans. But really, why should I need a backup plan if I feel like this is going yeah. to work? So, again, like, um, but a lot of those moments I felt like that was all the moments that didn't work out. So when it didn't work out, that didn't shoot me down to be like, this ain't going to work. I was like, this has to work now. Because <laughs> this didn't work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it had been times i've been stuck in places cross cross country six hours away flight nigga probably 72 80 hours driving mm. do you think you know, again like what i look why why am i here why did i put myself here why did i do this why, why did i bet on myself just start to ask myself the questions that i i answered even before i started to do every before i even got to that moment i i answered why why i'm going so why should I be questioning myself now? You know, so I got to a lot of those moments where it was like, damn, this is not going good. And it was like, yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> so I just, again, just flip, just flipped the bad pack, man. I, I've always thought of it like that, like, you know, and even in ways when I'm not even like somewhat feeling like I'm active. I feel like a lot of artists feel like that. Oh, I'm not doing enough. Not active. I ain't got enough video. I ain't da, 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 da. But it's like, bro, it's like. <laughs> Do you, do you understand? Like, I, I started to really travel, do music and travel and start to see, bro, you got people in L.A. every day. Hot. Monday through Friday. <laughs> Monday through Sunday. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe rain here and there. <laughs> but it could come to a point where you'd be like, yo, Ryan, let's go outside and shoot this. We could do it. It's sunny. We get winter. We get spring. We get we get things that actually sit us down yeah. and be like, sit your ass down. And look what's going. Look, adapt to your conditions. You got other people on the side of the earth that's not even taking half that time to acknowledge that half the time they got is like cut for us or, or over here on this side or, or wherever you're at. Like you said, you got to think about, bro. There's a tiger. If I'm walking to this, t- like this, just different. <laughs> it's different <laughs> strokes for different folks. And then you start. I start to look at it like, damn, my stroke ain't as half as bad as half of these niggas' stroke that people are dying from so I, I just be like yeah man we could make it we, we we can make the better out of it but but again those moments and then seeing moments where i was actually like really excelling like when i opened up for tyga when i opened up for j-rock when i opened up for just these certain people and seeing how my uh, the people i inspired to be like is doing it like they did do this day in day out they're on tour night in night out 
This is me. I, I know I know my body is built to this. So I want you to elaborate on some of those experiences. Um, like those, and- those great experiences, man. Shout out to um, Leeds Entertainment. He uh, he did a lot of like again competitions. I did um, the the rap race, which I met. Uh, that's that's the first time that me me and Rob talk about all the time. That's the first time Rob seen me perform, Damn. and I was uh, seventeen. Damn. Yeah, I was like six. I was like I was fresh six, sixteen going into seventeen. Damn. And we did. I did like two competitions, and I had to beat out mad of my mad peers, mad artists in Boston, and and it, it, was, it was it was great. But again, like that's where I came up from. So I'm seventeen, but again fourteen, I was already doing competitions. I was like I was going like it's so crazy. Let, let, pay, pay it back. <laughs> Jay Rose probably knows this <laughs> situation, but me and Jay Rose actually. Versed each other in a competition what? in Brockton, and <laughs> it was at the Brockton Library. And I think, and again, I think I got, I think it was either fifteen hundred or like two bands from that. And he got a band, and then somebody else I know got like five hundred. So like again, like there's there's things that was out there at our time, and then when we would do things like that, we would see each other and be like, bro, like we like think about what we could do together. But yeah, it's just to fast forward. But even then, he's been there through a lot of my competition winning years. Like I was just again going out here, go any competition. I don't care if it's five hundred. I don't care if it's two hundred, t- two fifty. What what? Put it down because again, I love performing so much, and I feel like that's what I can bet on. But again, I'm just sharpening. At that point. So now I'm sharpening and I'm basically getting paid to sharpen. <laughs> I'm basically so, getting paid to sharpen my skills. So like, you know, doing stuff like that, doing those competitions and then winning, it was like, okay, what are we doing next? And then I remember the rap race after the rap race, Leeds was like, yeah, we, we don't know who's going to come to town, but when someone comes to town, we'll let you know. And it was j Rock. So shout to TDE, man, Big B, you know, Big B, Big B the chef on IG. Make sure you go follow that man for food, man. That man got the greatest food in LA. You know what I'm saying? The great, greatest food truck in yeah. LA. But yeah, you know, but, um, him and, you know, like, just I just kept in touch with people after that and just kept building with people. Um, shout out to Python P2. Um, we, we got some crazy shit coming. Um, but yeah, it's just like you start to really understand things that you start to love, like, that you love, you start to understand the, the working kinks behind it and those people behind it and be like, ah. I see why that is that way. I see why this is pristine. I see why. So we ain't even got to ask the question. We just got to understand that. We just got to put in the work to even be with those people close or damn near compared to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it, it, and if not compared to my own, but you still put them in the rankings with these people and still put them in, you know, so I, I just think like after that, that just showed me be great. Like you just need to be great. Just go out there and be great. You saying all of that, just how did you go about, well, kind of seems like you said that was the way, but how'd you go about building your overall stage presence and your overall brand overall? Um, I slurred that. Pressure. These salters. <laughs> a lot, a lot of pressure. I feel like I don't, sorry, I feel like I don't you. fold under pressure. Um, um, I feel like I don't fold under pressure and that helps me, like, it's so crazy. I feel like when I'm when I'm alone and I'm freestyling, right? It's different than y'all two watching me. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be I'm I'm gonna be like, and even then, even if it's small, the big crowd, we gotta we gotta get the we gotta make it happen. Yeah. That's the whole point of people wanting you to do it. So I just feel like like with me in in in, in being that way, I was like, I just gotta I just gotta keep keep looking at. All the goats that I know, and also too all the the downfalls of these goats, like all these people that was that was nobodies, but then now they oh, and it's like you probably know people you've listened to before they was even like thought of, but it's like you gotta understand the growth they went through to endure all of that and come out like that. So like you know, just watching great performers, man. Like again, like the K dots, you know, and even then watching people too that didn't have great stage performance presence and seeing what made them comfortable to feel that way on stage like why does a singer stay in one spot than a rapper you know what i'm saying why do why do half the time singers need mic stands and rappers don't 
You know what I'm saying? Why, what, what's the difference in all of these things? And I just start to be like, well, this is what I like. This is what I'm comfortable with. And sometimes even then, we switch up the game plan. Some nights I'm not. Some nights, some nights I don't do that. Some nights I play with a band. Some nights I play with a DJ. And then um, just sonically, too, I think playing with a band for the first time. So, like, yeah, shout out to Adonis, Mad Music Mill. And, you know, um, um, yeah, Bakari. Like, the, the platforms like that. Like, the Mad Music Mill is like a jam session every other two weeks um, in, in Boston, in Dorchester. And people just used to jam out. We used to be up there. Shout out to Trevo. He used to be there. Um, we used to just be sitting there rapping, singing. Shout out to Kasia. Kasia used to be there. Dev. Like, a lot of people. There's so much uh, talented people in the city. And you start to see them and be like, well, they're literally just like the great, like, I look at a lot of great stories and be like, where the where are those people in this time, in this setting, in this area? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had the Billy Williams chilling with the Quincy Joneses. You had the Quincy Joneses chilling with the, with the, with the, you know what I'm saying? The Louis Armstrongs and the, it was, it was all meant to be together. And it, either people, whether people liked it or not, or noticed it or not, everything came out of that. You know what I'm saying? In history. So, yeah. So I just watch all the greats and be like, we got to be like them. We don't got to copy, but we got to be, we got to be great. You feel me? You're talking about knowing what their weaknesses are and their downfalls. What do you feel like your biggest fuck up has been? Like something that you've improved on tremendously that you feel like has just shifted the trajectory of your career overall? Time. Time, time, time. Like, you know, any, I feel like if you would have caught C4 two years ago, I would have not been here at 8.30. <laughs> I would have been here at 9.30. It would have been, it would have been a different type of me. And I, again, I just feel like over time, I just started to see, okay, okay, how that plays a part. How, again, I started to not make certain shows. I started to not make certain things. And it, and it wasn't even a, to, to the point I may have been like, like mentally going through something or physically sick or it was just like, no, I'm just down bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the way I'm kind of going through my days and I'm, I'm mixing up stuff. I'm double booking. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm supposed to be here. Like, and even then, we still try to make it work. But now I just started to be like, bro, we got to do this better. Like, I remember I think I did, like, I think the, the most I've done was probably, like, three days, three, three, three shows in one day. Jesus Christ. And I was like, bro, what like. What the fuck? I think I went, I, I did a show, UMass Dartmouth. I did a fashion show. We went to UMass Dartmouth, then we drove... No, no, no. Started in Brockton. We did a show in Brockton. It was like an open mic, something like that. I was like a guest performer. I went to UMass Dartmouth, did the fashion show, then went down to Cambridge and did a show for somebody that I know that was doing a show. Like They was like, yo, we need you to perform. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, I was like, bro, this is crazy. I was like, Actually, you know what was it? Shout out Draco. It was Draco's event. Shout out Draco. Jesus. And yeah, I was like, bro. So again, like, I, I feel like I've always, I've always been there to show up. I've always, like, and if he's not gonna be here on time, he's gonna be here. <laughs> it's just to, again, you might, you might catch him, you might not. And then at that point, I feel like that's when a lot of people be like, damn, I missed you. Like, like, damn, damn, you already performed, you already went, or like, oh, you didn't, damn, I, I already left. Like, and I started to again, you can't put the face with the name. The name was supposed to come. The face was supposed to come. Yeah, the person, should, but you just didn't catch him. So. I feel like that was always the thing with me. So now time's better with me now. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm managing better. I'm calendared up and ma managed up. So we're, we're, we're correlating. Like Rob he, he said, he's, he hit me up yesterday right along. Yo, yo, you going to make this as well? Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. And again, I think that's what it really be. It just be keep me on my toes. You know, like that, 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 that keeps my, my, my fighter stance. You know what I'm saying? So it's good. All the artists watching this, stop thinking artist timing is cool. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. not. In some situations, maybe, maybe, but like, or, or like shows too, some some shows. I was going to say shows, shows if you're like showing up as a show as a viewer, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, like, like I understand sometimes, I've been at shows, yeah, we need you at 12, I don't go until 5. Why am I here for four? Like, unless, yeah. unless we talk, me like, yo, I, yo, I got some people I need you to meet, I need, but, but, but Cool. And even then, I know I'm supposed to be doing that as an artist anyway, but we're going to network when I feel like we need to network yeah. or I get there if that's the case. You know, but all, all the other incentives, it don't, it don't, we, we got to pay more for that at that point. Like, <laughs> you know, so yeah. I want to get into now because you just mentioned him. I was telling C4 off camera. 
I need you on a podcast. But your whole entire experience working with Rob, it seems like you, from everything you've told me off camera and on camera, it seems like that's been just a traumatic shift yeah. in just where you're going overall. But I want you to just talk about that. Yeah, so I, I compare Rob, and if you want in the edits, you can like shit, like, like you could put a picture of, of, of Rob or, or we could just shift it like this. Like I put like Rob as my Belichick. <laughs> and then me, me, I was playing like a Belichick in my career. And I was like, I need, I need uh, that. I need that same. So he took that role, Belichick, and then I'm the Brady. And then, and then, and then it's like, well, at this point, now I'm, I'm just feeling like, well, wherever we're doing it at, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the coach. I don't care what, what's the team if we have to move the team. I guess you're going to need a coach cap, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that point, because, again, there's certain people to keep you in in the mind state of you can do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been told a lot of things. I've been told a lot of things. <laughs> so, again, so you're, bro, you're the most talented motherfucker. But there's only a few that really keep their words and say what they mean behind it and then push that behind it. Like, well, if you're great, this... Well, then this is what you need. <laughs> and then, look, I got it for you. So you, it, now it's up to you yeah. to handle that ball and get it in people's hands and, and, and get these plays through. Because if not, then again, you show up late to practice, you're going to be missing time out on the field. So then we're not going to get that chance. Like, again, there's just certain things that I start to really metaphorically put into life of existence and how I want my career to go and be like, well, we need these because I've always been doing the job. We just never got there. We just never really got to the to, to the point where we wanted to get to. So just putting different management in a, di- in, a, in a different mind is always great. And me too, I'm not a person like to shy away from the ideas. Like I feel like, you know, I'm always in, I'm, I love ideas. But it's about how it's given. You know what I'm saying? Certain people, they give you the board. They give you the logistics, the numbers. Certain motherfuckers just be like, that's what it is. Did, uh, did it, and again, I know perception works long, but it don't work long for some. Some some people get that perception and be like, okay, I see what you're going for. Then once they start doing it, they lose the percent. Cause again, it's not it wasn't it wasn't solid enough for me to go off of, you know? It's like Lego instructions. <laughs> it's like Lego instructions. You know? So yeah, Rob been a, a great help. We've been putting this project together and he's just been like, take your time. Take your time, experience, and then we're gonna get the best out of you to market that, to push that, you know. Were you always open to criticism or did it take you a while? Start listening to other people. I think it took me a while, but I think, like I said, it wasn't about what was being said. I feel like it's about how. Like, I remember, I remember I got very much offensive to somebody who was like, yeah, bro, you know, I forgot what the person, the person, the person frustrated me to the point where I was like, bro, if I don't walk away from you, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> Damn. And, and, and it was like, bro, like to the point where you can see kind of like, Tears come from my eyes because it was like, bro, it was like, if I hurt you, if I go at you, people are going to look at me different. And that's not how I want people to look at me. But it was like, he was like, he was he compared my sound to like Justin Bieber. It was like some shit. And I was like, bro, I was just like, but it wasn't because he didn't fuck with my sound. It's because he had a personal towards me. So now you're putting a personal on something I love and not who I am. You know what I'm saying? You're, you really don't like me, but you're saying something about my music because you really don't like me. So now we got to get to this point of like, so now you're playing with my livelihood. You're playing with who I am as a person and how I'm about to be looked at <laughs> right now if I go off. So like, I think again, like I was never a type of person to do use conflict if someone gives me a, but it's just about how. Like I could dish it to you like this. Or I could dish it to you like this. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are solid on because they feel like that works and that because maybe they've seen it before but it's like no bro like really you know maybe you need more of this or maybe you need more of i don't know and then just just find different ways to dish it to me but like again i was i've always been open to criticism and how we go about things like you know uh, how do you deal with people hating and dissing or whatever come see me perform <laughs> you know like that's that's honestly like the music and just performing i just be like again like a lot of people's words don't hold weight and i just be like well if we're gonna hold the weight with it we we know that we can perform and we can outperform so 
it be a uh, it be a it be a thing where it's like and and, and even again even if that's that's not the case, it's like really all I'm proving anything is to myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm proving myself I can get up and do this music show. I'm proving myself I can outright yeah. myself and outwrap myself. Like really, I'm just proving it to myself. So you know, with with, with the hate, it kind of just bounces and then reflects back at me because I'd be like, I'm, I'm really just proving it to myself. And then anything else, it's just like, you know, uh, I know a lot of people in this time, they like to just reflect what's on them on you. Just with, well, my day's ass. Your day's going to be ass. Like, nah. So I just I just be like, move forward, keep walking, you know. Like, I think we got that. Like, with Game 7, like, when South Lost, we did the uh, pop-up outside of um, – TV. Oh, I saw that shit. Yeah, and, and shit. again, like you got people mad. You had, why are you performing? Da, da, da. But you also too had people handing me twenty dollar bills. I'm not mad at it. What do we, I guess we got again. So it's about where you put yourself. Yeah. It's where you put yourself. <laughs> Talking about the um, Celtics, just overall Massachusetts scene. What are your thoughts on just the overall scene of just every every? I'll say New England. I yeah. need to stop saying this. I've been trying to say New England and say, yeah. but. New England scene. I think I think that's the thing. I think it's getting better. I I I I think we should represent as mass. You know, obviously we got again. It's gonna it's gonna be kind of like a New York divide. You know, because again, I don't I don't I don't stem, I don't stem like when they look at music. I think they look at it as mass. They don't. You know, some people don't look at it as Boston and yeah. look at it as again. Because again, if I'm a motherfucker coming out of Shrewsbury. What do we again, You're bro? Not like, from Boston. like, make it again, bro. Yeah, people can be like, "Where's Shrewsbury in Mass?" Uh, so again, I think that it's about how you stem it, but also too, I, I, I'm the type of person where I'm a contract artist. Where's my contract? And that's where I'm at. <laughs> where, where again? Where, where are we making sense to be at around people? That's where I'm at because again, it's like. You know, I know a lot of creative motherfuckers in Mass, in Boston, in Brockton, in Fall River, in all these places. I know motherfuckers everywhere. And again, when you leave out of here, when you even say your little town, or even then, that that little town, Mass, on the fucking thing, and niggas is going to be like, huh? You know where you at? <laughs> like that's what I always said. Like I sit down show and tell Boston. Like they was like, you know, they asked a question about people being clicky and th- these things of nature. And I'm like, clicky don't make sense in my mind. I'm very, I'm very mutual. If we can make the business happen, then we're mutual. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I can, I don't care who. I don't care if you got a problem with this dude. This dude's gonna be podcasting here. Money. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we're we're all money. Let's look at each other like that and let's start to hold that to a standard. Because again, you wouldn't want to go out yourself. And get downplayed and get and get you know get less for doing what you're doing. So we got to look at each other like that. So like I feel like again, mass is a big mo- boiling pot of money. We're, we're, we got it, but we got to start to hold something on our shoulders and on our back and on our chest. That's like, well, this is how we represent it, and we represent it, and, and we stand on that. Like again, like I think they was coming at like kind of like mi- millies at that, like for the whole mass thing. And, like bro, yeah, we're 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 Max. I live in Massachusetts, bro. Uh, you know, yeah. and again, like that's why I always said about the Brock and Boston thing, because it's like, bro, I was I was born in Boston Medical. I wasn't born in Good Samaritan. I was, but again, it, it like, where did I do a lot of my work? Where do where, where do faces know me more? Where do here? And again, it's like I think we we should feel no way towards where we're at or how we live. Like if I, again, if I if I if I walk through my streets and I feel like. I'm 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 being I'm being attacked. Or, come on, man. It's 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 getting to a point. We're in 2023. I don't own these blocks. Nobody owns these blocks. <laughs> it's again. It's, it's this belongs to the Commonwealth. <laughs> we might as well just give it up as that and just understand that <laughs> and understand that we all gotta push. We 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 all gotta push for something. That we all gotta represent. So like, but but with most part, it's like, yeah. I I feel like we all got it in mass. We just need to wake up. Uh. It's a wake up thing. What do you what do you think when people say the hate narrative? Do you think that that's still a narrative that's present or Yeah, yeah. And I I don't think it's really hate. I think it's more of envy. I think it's like I think it's like, "Oh, since since I got a little chain, you got a 
uh, d- damn near Cuban. I want the Cuban. But it's like, really, I want that because you like to have it, not because I want to have it. <laughs> like, I think that's what it's getting to now. It's getting to that point. It's getting to envy. Like, you know, like I envy is because they, they're doing what I want to do. And it's like, you know, and if that that might build into hate and, and, and show hate traits and show hate of ways of doing it. But really, it's like you envy. You really want to be like this person. But you really just go about it a different way or, or, or I think – you 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 know it's it's crazy it's wild but like yeah I always look at it envy I don't look at it as hate like hate's a strong word my mother always said you know I'd be like hate hate is crazy it's like you know once I start to put the power in the words I'd be like hate is wild and it's so crazy right you t- now to tune into it you said if I was wasn't doing this music thing and all that I think low key I would probably be a preacher or a pastor damn damn honestly you mad religious I'm not mad religious but like I'm like I'm I'm religious on like again, just morals. I'm, I'm religious on right is right, wrong is wrong. You should know. <laughs> and like, and, and, and honestly, mine won't probably be a god. It just be a moral church. Like, nigga, like, have anybody ever told you go into somebody's crib and don't open their fridge? Like that's like this is a thing. Like, <laughs> and, and again, like treating it, treating your life that way. Sometimes it it it, it, it plays a big part. And you understand how people take consideration is that and be like, well, I, I I think that you thought about that before you did it or before you said it or you know. So um, yeah, like yeah, preacher pastor probably. Damn, damn. To backtrack a little bit to the mass scene, Brockton in specific, your time you spent in Brockton. How do you feel about the whole scene there? Because I always say to everybody, Brockton's like a little sub. Brockton and Boston have the two best scenes. But Brockton, I always say there's something about it in specific that they're just way more artistic than everywhere else. I love it. Cause I so right, I feel like Brockton is is like the little brother that makes the hand me downs look fly. You feel me? Like it's like okay, you gave us this, you just gave us sticks. We're gonna build a stick mansion. Like and just you know, say we, we're gonna find some way to make it stretch. I think Brockton's always been that, and that's been I've seen that since a kid. Because again, I've seen my brothers and all of that make the most money they probably can in Brockton. Because why? Ain't shit out. You know, it really, that's how some people feel. Like, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing. But it's like, bro, people are making their own worlds out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So being out there, uh, it, it, being from young to older, starting to understand it, I was like, yeah, like this would be the best place for me to kind of spread my wings. And, you know, we, we got sides. You know, South Side, West Side, East, you know, it's not, well, well, you're all the way in South Boston and you're all the way in here or you're all the way in Jamaica Plain. You could be anywhere in Boston at that point when you say I'm in Boston. So it's like, you know, it, it, it's crazy. So Brockton gave me that secluded playground to play in, like, and be like, well, this is what you need to make the best out of. So, yeah, Brock, Brockton's a beautiful place, man. We, we got a lot there. And like I said, man, I've, I've built with a lot of people there. And, if you know, Hey, you know my contract's still active. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, just like again, until we, until we keep moving up and building with a lot of the build people we need to build with and building the bridges that we need to build, then it's like again, I'm gonna just be creating that 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 different avenue, like a different portal coming out of there to get you somewhere else and get you better places and to do better things. So yeah, I want to build that outlet for Brockton. Like Brockton's one of those places I you know I want to give a charity basket to. Like, just within life. Like, I want to keep giving, because that's a place where it has so much potential and so much to do there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Inspiration-wise. Overall region, just Mass, New England in general, top three artists that besides yourself that you would advise people to look out for? Top. Can okay, I do a five? You could do a five. You could do a five. All right, all right. Five. I'm going <laughs> to check my phone real quick. <laughs> uh, woo! Top five. Out here, from out here. Yep. Mm. I'm curious about this. That you don't already know about, basically? No, just in general that people should look out for. If you had to put your your bets on people that would blow up in the next year, five people. Oh, next year in in mass? People that you feel like they're just polished and they're people that you should look out for, or even they could just be like an underdog that they just came out of nowhere, but you think that they have it. Mm. Mm. Well, it's so crazy. Because when I look at it, it's mostly females. 
<laughs> Manny just said the same shit, <laughs> this bro. Is fucking wow, that's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Like, wow. Um, Manny just said the same exact shit. You guys are the only two people who have said that. Wow, it's crazy. Um, yeah, bro, and and that's why I feel like just a different breed. Just, what females do you breed. think? But um, Key's definitely one of them. Yeah, yeah, Key, um, Queen Ali, obviously, um, Isha. You know, you got Big Sosa. You got you got um, Nate Speaks. She's hard. Um, oh, they still need to get because everyone else has been on Pink World except for her. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Shoot. We got mad females out here. I do. I do. Um, what about dudes? Who? What about dudes? Because you just said a bunch of girls. Um, what dudes would you say? Well, obviously, look out for my man, Emil. He's hard. Emil's That's the hard. one that was with J Rose. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Emil's hard, bro. He got some shit in the tuck. He's like an dog again. Um, you know, again, J Rose, you got, um, you know, Aunt Bell, um, Reef. Reef's the homie. He got some ish. Um, D, but again, you got so so many working. iFlow. Shout out iFlow. He's dope. Um, Shit. Got mad people, Clark too. Clark, you know. But again, a lot of those people, I look like, bro. They're making it in their own ways. Again, like I talk to Clark mostly ha- all the time, and he's again, again. I every time there's something new, there's something. So again, I I feel like the people that we know is gonna be great. They're making it in them own ways, and if they're not out there, trust me, they're out there. Like they're in those rooms. Yeah. They're in small, like slowly but surely. You know, Clark. Um, obviously, you know. I listen to a lot of R and B vibes too. So like, you know, I feel like in in a range G, Notebook P. Um, you know, you got like Tamara King, she's hard. You got um Tomo. Tomo been dropped as fire. Fuego, you feel me? Um, yeah, bro, you got so many people. That's that, people, that that's definitely bro. coming with a lot of stuff, a lot of heat. Um, but again, like a lot of these people I've 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 seen them for a while working. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're we're all working. We're all in that in that pool of like we're still trying to figure out our sounds and we're and we're still experimenting, but experimenting with each other and making it like it's not a loss or like we feel like this is this is purposeful. You feel me? Like we're all doing this so we can all you know eat at the end of the day. So yeah, it, it's it's definitely beautiful in the city. What's going? And that's what I'm saying. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> we got we it. Really like, we got a lot of names, bro. And a lot of people I even didn't name. It's like, you, again, you got Neems. Neems is hard. I've been on a couple shows with her. Um, VB, there's mad people. Bro. Yeah, bro. Like, it's. There's too many to even name all of them. <sighs> it's crazy. I was going to say, you, you're witnessing everything. What do you feel like the biggest shift in the culture overall has been from when you stepped foot into it until now? Everybody wanted to do it. Honestly. E-Zip just said the same exact <laughs> shit. <laughs> everybody that's wanting to do it, I think, honestly, it's is again like, I think everybody and their mama's trying to do this shit, bro. And and it just it just starts to be like, well, what makes you different from that nigga's mama? Like, like obviously, and um, I've been over again, and I've I've in so crazy because I've tra- been traveling too, so I'm looking at people tra- like artists I'm seeing on on the road, bro, like. This is this is crazy. Like I went to um, Music Mondays. Um, shout out to Noble um, in the Noble. testing lab. Um, they basically brought me down to Atlanta and they had me perform at Outcast's studio. And it was the same thing, kind of like we do at testing yeah. labs. You know, artists come up, they get critiqued, all of that. And you had mad artists, bro. Atlanta, Memphis. I met a dude that was like, I'm the real six nine. Six nine took my name, and I'm looking, <laughs> and he's tell he's telling the whole story, Eric. And I'm like, bro. This is wild. <laughs> what? This is wild. Do you feel me? So uh, you start you start to meet, meet different walks of life, different people, and it's just how they can, again, how you can bump into those people doing the same thing they're doing down the line. In another city, another show, another promote, different promoters, no, they know, it, yeah, it's all, it's all tied. It's all tied because it's going to be music, musically up, uh, it, it's going to be a music thing. So anything music is going to, it's going to rub with each other, you know? 
I was gonna ask you. We're getting towards the end. I only got a couple more questions. I don't even know if you okay. realize we already did like an hour. 45. Yeah, no, no, no. I did. But this is a great interview, this by is, the way. No, this is, this is a, a good great, ass this episode. Is, this, this is making is me give it all episode. online and just. I'm know. fucking with it. This yeah. is a good ass episode. That's why, because I always like when I'm talking mad, but also I feel like whenever we go over two hours, we end up talking about nonsense. So I'd rather yeah. people stay and watch the whole thing because it's so good. Um, but I was gonna ask just traveling overall. So many people will not look elsewhere for connections everyone's like i have to strictly stay in boston for mm -hmm. connections how impactful do you think that's been overall and just getting your name out there and just building connections over? i think i think it's very important because again i feel like a lot of people have fucked with me over 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 states then you know again how how some artists feel in my own city but even then i feel like i didn't even touch like how you said 11 percent I didn't touch, I didn't touch half of mass yet. So how can I feel that, well, again, a motherfucker in Pinbrook didn't hear my song. <laughs> I, I, well, we need to work those things or we need to get, again, get people in one, one ton, one thing to hear this. So I just been, again, over there and really building more producer connections, people I can collab with. That's like, well, show me what your city is about. Show me how I can tap in with you. Like, shout out to um, Viddy. You feel me? Like, uh, Viddy's from New York. Again, like, dope, dope producer. Um, and again, it's like, you know, people like that, they see what I'm doing on this side and, and show love and just pay homage. And that's what it's about. It's about giving that love. So, again, you can feel fueled to be like, keep doing it. I'm doing, I'm doing something right. Someone's love what I'm doing. I'm doing something uh -huh. good. And again, it's like, and, and if we can't feel that way in our own city, then we got we to gotta just... We got to keep working on ourselves. And that's what I, I've been a bit. Work on yourself. Work on yourself first before you try to work on the city. You know, work, work on work on the, the, the inner depths of the city before you try to work on the city as a whole. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take baby steps. So with me, I've just been like, I'm going to put out the music, my time, my feel, when things I feel like are appropriate, and they're going to feel it when they need to and how to. And the way I'm just going to do it is going to be my way, you know. So, Yeah. It's been one of those. Do you feel like it's easier or harder to build connections out of state? It's easier. Easier? I think it's easier. I think if you just, again, if you if you be you, and if you don't, if and also, too, like, attend to the motive that other people put on Boston, like, or put where you're from. Like, I've been in L.A. I've been in Atlanta. I've been in New York. I've been in Philly. I've been in these places. And, and it's, like, it's crazy how much you think that you're not connected to these people than you really are like you know what i'm saying so i'm going to these places and what i do i just again etiquette i don't go anywhere else feeling like <laughs> yeah the shit <laughs> yeah like yeah or, or or i'm out here i don't nah bro show love to it if these people are from where they're from they're from there for a reason and they're and they want to tell you certain things and be with you for certain things to let you know how it goes you know what i'm saying and, and again how you can move into that intertwine because i tell i say the same thing to people that i know that are moving from another place to here and i can tell you who's not working i can tell you who's gonna bullshit you i can tell you who's gonna tell you this and tell you that because they told me the same thing <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna change it's gonna be that cycle and unless we stop that unless you be the podcast and be like well i'm gonna be this person to ask these questions that people are not asking and really connect with these people in certain ways that people are not asking then that really puts a slow kill on a lot of the other bullshit podcasts or a lot of the other bullshit that's being talked to. Again, I've been on certain podcasts and they've probably not asked me not one music question. How? Wait, well, so what am I here for? So, and again, if you're not going to ask me that, ask me how, again, how, how, how I maneuver yeah. through all the bullshit, how I move in a room full of vultures. It's not easy. So I think that I just start to be like, I could connect with these people because these people are going through the same thing I'm going through, just in a different city, different time, with different motherfuckers. Same ish, though. You know, so I started to connect with different people and just understand that these people, I feel like they're the top dogs where they're from. And they're doing right, right in their city where they're from. So I can literally walk by these people. It ain't no bad, uh, well, no. You see what this person from and what he's doing? <laughs> like, so, yeah, that's, that'd be my thing. You know what I'm saying? Let's clean brand with clean brand. You know what I'm saying? Let's and then let's make a brand cleaner than anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Again, just to help, just to help everything. I got a question for you because you just said the vulture shit real quick. What state do you feel like has the worst vultures and most? What place you've been to, scene wise? Atlanta. Atlanta, really? Atlanta. I'm surprised. Damn. Atlanta, definitely. And and again, Damn. it's not like 
vulture and bad, but it's like you can see how everybody wants it. It's not again yeah, it's, that it's person perception. got the shoddy chain. Everybody, I want that chain. And and again, it's like and again, I I went out there. Shout out to Sadiq. Um, he brought me out there. I went out there for uh, uh, AC three. And um, it was uh, definitely dope. I got a dope experience just to be in. It was like a SoundCloud event. So, again, like I'm in the SoundCloud booth rapping. I'm just doing. And, again, like, bro, you have people, right? You go into the booth. You rap once. If you mess up once, like mess up, you got to come out. And another person goes, I did not come out that booth. <laughs> I did not. And, 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 and if I did, it was like, huh? And I was just like. That was warming up. <laughs> that was warming up. Put me back in the booth. Put me back in the booth. So Jesus. it was. It was just a great experience. And again, pressure moments. Let's let's see if we can get it done in in, in the time span it needs to. So again, that, that that's just been me. But going different places, I feel like I had no problem building with people and knowing people. Like I feel like I start more conversations. I'll be anywhere, hotel, checking with. Yo, man, what's up? What you doing here for? And it just I'm like that anywhere to an extent. But you just know where you can be like that and where you can't. But, like, again, you get environments where I've seen out there, like, it's more of hyenas, like, real hungry hyenas. Then hyenas that's out here, like, yeah, I just kind of, I kind of want it. I kind of want Nah, you got real. <laughs> They're doing everything. I, I will Kanye you, right? I will go up there and take the mic from you. And yeah, I've seen it. And also, too, I've been a part of it. And I've been a part of, like, you know, like, people seeing you. Yeah, yo, yeah, 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 you good. Next. It's next, it's next, yeah, it's next, it's next, it's next. All right, you're telling me things I've, I've, I've basically all, all already heard. I sound like this person. I sound like I, I perform like him. Cool, but, but, but okay. Mm -mm. God damn, bro. <laughs> It'd be crazy. So, and again, that's what I'm saying. So, I start, I, I, I start to have that feeling on like, damn, why is it this way? You know, obviously, I feel like I'm so thankful to have those experience to to feel that way so i'm not like again just like giving up so easy like damn i just damn well it's back yeah it's back you know but even then i've went places performed done came back to the same environment around the same people and mind you like that was supposed to be the big break we, we, we thinking opening up for this person about we about to shoot we about to be off <laughs> nope you write you write back figure it out so it's so always back to the drawing board do you do you get or have you? This will be one of the last questions. But have you got sold dreams a lot? Hell yes, hell yes. I've got sold dreams more than I actually got them sold. Like it's it's wild. It's it's it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. I've de I've definitely been 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 sold on ish, and it's like, bro. I think that's what makes me kind of like the person I'm building into today. Like, don't follow the sell. Don't follow unless they got a crazy sales pitch, which half the time that's not the case. So you can look through it. But I think as we're so young in this, we're so gullible, we're so jolly. We, we just want to do it. Like there have been times I've been like, again, I don't care if you're not paying me. Give me a mic. I just want a mic. But then you start to understand, well, that mic can get me this. And that mic, somebody paid for that mic. How did they get that money? <laughs> oh, I could be get, so I could be yeah. doing this. Like this is not hard. And then I and then again when I was young, just again making those events so we can put it back into the community. It was like we're doing events. I'm 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 winning two thousand dollar competitions. And if you was a person like yo C four, I need five hundred so I can get this event started. I'm like here's five hundred. Just give me six fifty back. If you if you feel if you bet on yourself and you feel like you're gonna make three thousand, why you know what I'm saying? So and again, I'm the person that's probably gonna believe in you to do it. Like I was always that person. So when I started to get to that point, start to get to well now, I can I can leverage things with this talent. Let, let, let's do it. That's gonna speak for itself, you know. And again, again, it's just been a thing where we just gotta keep building on it. I think Rob makes that a big thing. Like you are the bag, and you get bigger every day. Like, as you start to keep growing, as you start to make more song, more music, more great music, more people that music love, more, more music that people love, it's, you, you are, you are the value. So, yeah, we just been putting it on that and just being like, next project, that's what we're going to bet on. We're going to bet on us. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been dope. It's dope. How'd you go about just recognizing your worth? Putting myself in unworthy positions. And I think that, like, and, he, and, and again, at least if I know if I'm working a shift, I'm still going to get paid at the end of the day. 
But when you're in certain situations and it's like nothing, and even if you are getting something, the mascot can only play the mascot for so long until he's so hot in the fucking suit. To where it's like, get somebody else to wear this shit. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, I could be doing fourth, fifth, and the third. So I think I found my worth in just that. Just knowing that, you know, again, jobs, working nine to fives and being like, bro, I'm tired. and I, I, I got to go. We got to get back to the music. We got to understand what is our, 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 our point here and our moral of living. Obviously, you got bills to pay. So... Yeah, make it work. Make it, make it, make it, <laughs> make it shake. You know, and again, I feel like I've been in households, just different environment growing up, where it's like that was the gist. Make it shake. Nothing else. If, if, and, and, and if it don't, let the, let that feeling simmer down because you'll get a chance again. And yeah, you know, if it ain't life or death, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you saying all of this, I keep saying these are like the last couple, but this is actually the last one before mm -hmm. the last two. Man, you got good questions, man. You keep asking. Man. I know, I no, I just keep going. I keep going, but I also, like I said, I don't want people to like fucking. Once people see like two and a half hours, they're just like, eh, I'm gonna watch like 15 minutes of this. Yeah, and click yeah, on. yeah. If you keep it under the two hour mark. I've noticed people will watch like way more of it for some reason. Mm -hmm. All y'all need to stop doing that. Don't <laughs> don't worry about the length. If it's interesting, keep watching. Bro, I'll be watching. Bro, I'll be watching. Hours. I'd be Dark. watching mad smoke and just watching, <laughs> bro. I don't even some most of the time I don't even watch. I mostly just listen, like yeah, YouTube shit, yeah. bro. I won't even be watching the video most of the time. I'll just mm, be listening. Mm. I had a good question though. Before I forget this, are you talking about this nine to five shit? Mm. To all the motherfuckers out there that think it's corny to work, or they they literally will be like, oh, I want to blow up as an artist, da 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 da, da and they won't go work. They're mm -hmm. just not doing shit to make bread. They just think that a label is going to come out of nowhere and sign them. Right. What's your whole thoughts on just those motherfuckers that think that a nine to five or just working in general is corny? Well, if you think that's corny, say that to your greatest rapper and to your favorite rapper. Like, you know, again, like, I, I don't believe in not working. I believe in you should have your time, your time to have off, like a little, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, like me, I'm, I'm like that. I work for a little bit. I'm off. I work for a little bit. I'm off. Like, this summer. Not fucking working. <laughs> this is music. So, no. if you, so we feel like we, we can make it shake. We can let's do it, and then we'll get back to the ish. But for most part, and also too, I, I've been making money from the music. So if we can make that work, then we just gotta keep that cycle going. We gotta keep it. We just gotta keep it fresh. We gotta keep the produce sellable. That's all <laughs> it is. That literally is. So what it is is that a lot of motherfuckers can't keep their produce up. So <laughs> they don't they don't want to work that job. And then it's like, well, again, bro, like you gotta you gotta find a way to make it work. And if you're not doing what you love getting paid, do something you like you 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 like. Like I was working at a hotel recently and I met Denzel Curry. Damn. I didn't think I didn't think I would. But hey. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, fine. we're here. You feel me? So it's it, it's very it's very different. You get different experience, different strokes for different folks. It's about how you take it. And again, I made the made I made the best of that job. So it's now it's like, well, fuck that job. Now we here, <laughs> and then it's like again, we're gonna find some different way to kind of again get maybe get back into that workforce. But at the end of the day, I should be working for myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think, and even in especially if you're a man, man don't work, man don't eat. That's what it is. Like that's in the Bible. I don't know. Like it, again, but you should be able to be around motherfuckers that teach you how to fish, and if not, you the, the, them teaching you. You 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 look you learn you figure out yeah I'm gonna go get my own pole one day and come back and start fishing with you mother and and, and, and and again if everybody catch big fish and you catch small still eating I'm still I'm I'm just catching small fish but that's all so oh, I think like like people who don't like believe in the whole work thing you gotta nah it's it's not gonna happen like that you know um yeah that yeah yeah that's kind of a crazy terminology like. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta put in work, as Rob would say. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> put put in, in work, work records, man. That's where we at this summer with it, man. Spirit of a Warrior coming 2023 Bro. this summer. Shh. Damn, 2023 goals is the question after this. But yeah. it's my Jordan year. That's how I feel. Shh. It's Jordan year. Bro. Next year's Kobe year. You could get that get that out the way right now if you want, because normally I ask that at the end. But 2023 goals, what could people just <laughs> expect from you? Um, you can expect a new project. Most definitely. You can expect um, me throwing my own experiences for these projects. You can expect me catering 
to the artists out here that work fucking hard. And again, it might it might it might start off bumpy, but if you really know me, you really build with me. We gonna know how to make it shake. <laughs> and if you are a person of making it shake, let's make it shake. Like that's that's what it's about. So just again, I think more business, more um, and thinking out the business box. Like that game seven kind of idea that me and Rob and all of the like really Rob thought about. But again, it's like we don't we're, we're not gonna hold back on these monumental experiences for people to understand and realize what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you could just expect more. You could just expect more. You expect seeing my face more, you know, whether you love it or not. But it's like, and, and too, you, you can expect me to honestly start giving the dead honest truth to niggas. Like, and start to just not sugarcoating things. Like, that's like, it's like me going through hell and, and then being like, oh, you go there next week? Bring a mongoose. <laughs> like, it, that's so, like... Come on, bro. I got it. So I, I just want to be there for the people that know that they really want to do this shit. And again, how we can stay tough skinned, how we can understand how we do it and what we need to do and just move forward with it. You know, not 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 everything is going to be great at first, but over time it gets better. You see me? But yeah, you can just see more from C4. Hey, expect it. Expect it. I'm hype. Now, this is this the golden question. I'm tired of saying this in the golden question, but... Anybody that is out there, they're picking up a microphone for the first time and they're pursuing some shit. They're just pursuing something that's an idea in their brain that they're trying to turn something from nothing. What would you advise them to do? First step. Find yourself. Find what you want to do. Find how you want to do it. Then execute. When you fail at those executions, get back up. Drop some more. See how those go. Literally, um, be bold um, and really take everything that people tell you with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? The people that want to push you in certain ways, take it in a grain of salt because you got to understand they're telling you this and you got to understand why and why me. And, oh, do you know if that worked? Did you, you, you're telling me to do, did that work for you? <laughs> like we gotta you know we gotta start to ask those questions so i think just being firm standing firm um and just you know what i'm saying find some affirmations man listen to some 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 eric thomas or some les brown something to get you just pumping get you moving because that's been always a thing with me like words really move me to be like go do that you know not even not even the action the words like someone's to we're good all right let's do it <laughs> so yeah to anybody who just want to do this shit, man, you just got to have tough skin. And you got to be able to sometimes know that when you're getting played, you know what I'm saying, that's enough play. <laughs> now it's time for me to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, and, and just, yeah, just just believe in the music. The music is going to speak for itself, always. What would be the biggest thing you would advise them to look out for? Um, culture vultures. Um, motherfuckers who just want to, you know, Get rich off your talents and see you have something and be like, yeah, I know I can make money off this. Or, you know, if I put this to work for this person, they don't know that this is going to come back times yeah. 20. This, nah, nah, nah. You, you just got to really understand what you have and how you cater to people and how that thing can get you so further than what people said that other thing can. Or, or even then... The, the people that's using you for what you do, look at why they're using you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you do what you do. So I think um, the, that's just the thing to watch out for. Watch, watch out for that. And just, you know, all these get, get, get rich quick schemes, man. You know, I've been a part of competitions, rigged, rigged and all. You go, you take, take flights, you experiment, you spend your money you, for a fucked up experience. And... Again, like you, you should just you should just have the right people by you. You should know how you feel about certain things, and just go about it accordingly. But also, too, you know, I put everything in God's hands. God, He's that man. <laughs> bro, shit, bro, spitting facts. Yeah, spitting facts, bro. <laughs> this has been a great ass episode. I always say this every single time. My favorite episodes are the ones where I talk the least. Yes, <laughs> I thank you, do over doing for having me. It's bro, beautiful, thank it's a beautiful you platform y'all got, and y'all are just giving. Giving the real to the people that want it, people that need it. And then, too, I just like, again, how y'all have y'all sides of 
how y'all do, how y'all interview people. And again, it's about Appreciate that. It. If it doesn't have a standard way of how it's done, then it's just going to be all... Oh, boy, it's not cohesive <laughs> yeah bro i appreciate you know, it bro so i appreciate it as a kid I I, I I i used to like messy things but now it's like yeah. nah everything gotta have purpose bro that's a that's the problem with 90 percent of shit in culture in general is just the purposelessness yeah. behind it yes like, there's so. no direction there's no motion it's just senseless it's it's fucking vanilla bro mm -hmm. it's like you got a million different flavors and you fucking picking vanilla <laughs> Oh, you right. You ain't picking it with no top. You ain't getting no Oreos. You got the gummy bears. You got the Oreos. You got the kick ass. You got everything you could fucking think of, bro. And you're picking fucking vanilla, dog. Just vanilla. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Shit. Yeah, man. I thank you for having me. I appreciate you for coming on, bro. I appreciate you for coming on. I'm excited for the project, and all y'all mm -hmm. motherfuckers watching this, you guys better be excited for the fucking project. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be. Also, too, just find different ways, man. Look out for me, C4. Um, the real C4 on socials, you know, and again, if you just if, if you follow me, I'm gonna be doing things to where again, you might can get the project beforehand, you might can have it physically, you know. Who, who, who again, I'm think I'm, I'm coming up with these ways to really show motherfuckers like uh, you thought motherfuckers was working, no, we're working. <laughs> so yeah, it's just yeah, just uh, just follow the boy, and you'll and you'll start to see everything come into fruition. I gotta salute you. You're the first motherfucker that I didn't have to tell to say the outro. Yeah. And tagging themselves and shit. You just did that by yourself. <laughs> Listen, man. I'll be like, I'll be trying to be like Denzel with these, man. One take Jake, man. Just get me in and say, ha, ha, ha. All right, cool. You know? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I appreciate you coming on again, dog. Anytime, man. Anytime. You said two years. been trying to make this happen. That's commitment and, and, and purpose. That's purpose. Hey, you answered some of the DMs, and then you would you would say yeah, and then I'd be like, "What day?" And you just wouldn't answer. But also, too, I, did, I wasn't I feel like I wasn't really working on. The, I didn't have nothing. Now so nothing we can talk about the body types, the like that's, and all of that. Like, and again, just spirit it. coming up. So it's like now I got something to push in front of people to keep, keep them keep them looking. You know. Hey, well, I'm happy we got to do it when we did. Yes. Before yes. the storm. Yes. Before the storm. <laughs> Before the storm. Before yeah. The storm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, y'all better be tuned in for that project. I have no idea who next week's episode is going to be because there's a bunch of different people on the list and I have to pick who I want to pick. So I won't give you guys a promise, but there will. When is this one coming out? Two weeks from now. Two weeks so from now? Eight zips next week and then yours is the Wednesday after. Oh, so that's crazy. Yeah. Yours so is the like, Wednesday after. The, I think it's the first week of July. Yeah. July 5th. July 5th. July 5th. July 5th. Two weeks from now. It's crazy because I might be on tour by then. Damn, tour? You didn't even say anything about tour? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, coming back after the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? yeah. But we working. We working. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers stay tuned, bro. Y'all yeah. know the drill. Y'all better go follow the man. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, I don't know how many times I have to say it, click that fucking <laughs> button. If you made it all the way through this video, you better have pressed that fucking like button. If not, I don't know. I can't say anything because cancel culture is a thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. But Purple World, we out. We'll see you next week. Yes, sir. But they could find a glove and probably throw me in prison. They looking at the higher messiah. I've grown and risen. Hitting with specific precision. You are restricted. Lucky I'm not ugly like bitches.